I feel like I should be masturbating right now. What do you do when you have the webcam on? This is a hangout. Use it wisely. I'm curious to see how this works. And if it works. If. Interesting. All right, there's like 15 people here viewing. How do I see or talk or whatever? Hangouts. Hangouts, I don't understand. Hmm. Doesn't put it on the front. Try and get it so that it goes to the front page of uh, of YouTube, but clearly that's not going to happen. And really, uh, can you guys are you guys unable to actually join? I'm curious how that functions. I mean, this feature's only been out for like a year, some change, so it's not like I know what the hell I'm doing. and joined you're just a picture another picture <laughs> that's it just a picture it's a, it's a picture right. the only one, come on someone's got a webcam <laughs> someone's got clothes on yeah I... my webcam broke a long time ago and never bought another one How's this fun? See, this viewers, okay. Yep. Interesting. Another. Look at. Nobody has. Oh, then you left. All right. Well, I guess. Cool. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> What's going on? Some before we. Someone's gonna show up with a butthole. I know it. Like we're gonna be <laughs> sitting here, and someone's gonna join. And it's gonna be it's just gonna be a butthole and the whole thing is screwed and we have to just stop the whole thing. Oh hey! Yo. What's up? Welcome. Hi. This is awesome. Just this is really awesome. Uh God is behind you. Yeah, he uh he likes to hang out in my room sometimes. It's cool, he's it's like ceiling cat, right? <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> it's the ceiling deity. That's nice. That's even worse. <laughs> Cool. So this is what a hangout is, huh? Mm. Yeah. And I was just about to go to bed. <sighs> I'm sorry. I see you got dressed though. You just do on a sweater over your shirt, and that's it. You're yeah. Good. Just, just make sure I'm presentable. Where are you from? Uh, the UK actually. Okay. 
I couldn't have guessed. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't have been the first thing. <laughs> uh, so the UK is uh, not necessarily small. Uh, what what part? Uh, right now, I'm in Essex. Okay, I've heard of the uh, city. It's a uh, county, actually. Oh, county. Okay, is it really a county? Yeah. Okay. It's, uh, it's actually quite big. Really? Um, I- you know, we would never like. I'm I'm from uh, originally from Vegas, but I would never say I'm from Clark County. It's not something that I would normally do. Mm. Interesting. Is, actually, is, is, does everybody do that? Uh, if when you're being general, yeah. Mm. Um, but I live in. I actually, I'm at uni, and I kind of live in Wales for uni. So. Okay, Wales is is an actual city, though. Wales is a country. Son of a bitch. Of the, yeah, it's. I live near Cardiff, which is a see, city. See, the problem is, and this is this is this is why the U.S. sucks at European uh, geography. Is, <laughs> is we're just like, why do you have to have so many countries in one tiny little place? Just make a big one thing, and it'll be so much easier. But see, the thing is, though, is that everybody over there, you you drive like a hundred feet, and you're it's a different language, and it's like, okay, well, forget it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Ish. Ish. <laughs> the Welsh language is weird. I'll tell you that. Mm. Yeah. Well, depending on where you're from, in uh, in certain parts of England and UK, it's also not quite English. So. Yeah. The, the further <laughs> north you get, the uh, the worse it gets. So who else we have here? We have uh, Picard with uh, a, <laughs> a a small guitar, acoustic. And then we have a couple of uh, of MySpace Toms or something. Who are these other people? Hello. Wait, what's your name? Um, Curtis. Say it again. Curtis. 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 Yeah. Curtis. Tweeted at you a few times. Under what? Uh, Curtney. Curtney. I know this. Through the um... it's 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 kind of funny how like you you know people by their handles more than anything else. Yeah. Everyone else is so quiet. What's up? Just me and Curtis. Hanging out. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Mike. It's just quiet. That's all. If it works, I guess it's working. Yeah. Hello. So, yeah, it's working. There you go. How's your tank, by the way? Your solar powered one. Oh, my my computer. Yeah. Tank is good, man. Sitting right here. Well, actually, that's the plastic part. The rest of it is just metal. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this thing, I, I can't get rid of it. Like, I, I'm i thinking of taking the parts uh, that are currently in it. So it's an i7-920 that's in it right now. Um, and I have a 5770 I took out of the other machine to make room for other cards. So I was thinking of taking it and putting it in, like, another case and then, like, selling on eBay. Which, because... <laughs> You'd be surprised. Oh, someone's got feedback here. Hey, uh, Tasmanian Devil. You got some feedback. Headphones. Wear them. <laughs> Check. Okay, I think it was all the issue. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm never gonna get rid of this case. It's I'm never ever. It's 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 been so good for so long. And it might be a little dirt, dirty, but you know, nothing I can't scrub out, you know, and polish it up a little bit. But uh, no, the thing is great. I'm never getting rid of it. I can't. <laughs> I have the smaller version of that one actually from my first computer I built. It's the same color scheme. It's like silver and black, right? But it's a flat face, isn't it? Uh, it actually it's all black. Mm. Mine and it has a, the a single door instead of a full door. Oh no, this is the um, this is the one that doesn't have a door. Okay, well I got the the the. Uh... I guess the model below it with the door, a small door on it. Oh, I heard ya! See? This is Tank. <laughs> tank is amazing. Does look at look look at this look at this front face. Look at how much crap you could put in here. And if I wanted to, it could be like a whole computer inside, and then I could have. Like, I don't know why you'd want this, but like a CD duplicator on the front. Hey, who doesn't need one of those? Yeah. 
No, this is going anywhere. You give yourself your hernia with yeah. nitrogen. How long have you had time? Ah. Ah, oh, someone's in trouble. Um, <laughs> how long have I had that thing? Yeah. Uh, since two thousand and four, five. Movie starting. Uh, did it. Yeah, it's all commercial today. Rachel. I'm missing it all. Damn it. Yeah. Look at what happens. Look at, look at I, I put I put tank on my lap and it poops everywhere. <laughs> I didn't dust the underside of it, clearly. Can you pause it pause it and say Rachel, I hear everything going on back there. Swiffer duster, great for removing great old case poop. <laughs> <laughs> it actually worked out. Oh, Nick, come here. Come here. Ah. There you go. Oh, a Sunday. For the internet. <sighs> She's like, let me the fuck go, Lan. Yeah. <laughs> You want some beer? Fine. She's picky about what she drinks. She's just give me the good stuff. Exactly. She doesn't. She doesn't get as much love as she used to. And it's uh, she gets grouchy sometimes, but uh, yeah, she'll live, huh? Mm, oh yeah, yeah, big sister, huh? Rough. She's planning your demise in her in your sleep. Oh yeah, no, totally. I I agree with that 100. percent On Sunday, on Sunday, yes. Oh, I love you, yes. Oh, <laughs> oh, your whole face, your whole face. You done? She won't make a sound. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's just like, God, kill me. <laughs> Go on. Now, now I have tank dust and cat hair. Nice. This is good. Got all cleaned up for this, too. I didn't. <laughs> so, really, so it's just, just Curtis and I. We're the only ones with webcams. Boy, that, that's boring. <laughs> hey, there we go. Hey. Uh, who's that? Wait, I know you. I know this person. I think. Hey, who's this? Me? Oh no, never mind. I, it, the picture was really small. <laughs> What's going on? How much? Is this working? Yes, yep. Right. Okay. I have that same shirt. <laughs> it's just a. It's just like a four screen shirt. It's really, like. Not like they're hard to come by. <laughs> What's that in your wrist? Oh, it's just those like support our troops things. And I got one for uh, the Tokyo tsunami. Hmm, that's cool. You have a Coney one back there somewhere too? No. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you, you stuck with the ones that. Well, I got the the support our troops one because I got in free to uh, uh, Bush Gardens because I was on the service. So. Oh, cool. What were you in? I was Coast Guard. Nice. Oh, I couldn't do that. <laughs> How much time do you guys spend on the water doing stuff? Actually, I was on a land station because mm -hmm. uh, I was an electronics technician. So I was just in a little shop and I just would hop on it because we had a small boat station that just would go out and do close stuff. Uh huh. And, uh, so I just fixed radios and stuff. I'd imagine, I'd imagine it's not a lot of work for uh, a, an electrician or whatever uh, on the water. Oh, well, the big ships, they have actual electricians because there's a lot of electrical oh, I'm work sure. on this thing. Yeah, I'm sure. Being prestige. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where are you from? California. Oh, cool. What part? I'm in Castaic right now. It's north of LA. Yeah. I live right, right next to Magic Mountain. Oh, okay. I know exactly where that's actually because I yeah. always drive through there, going heading down towards uh, LA. 
Someone got a webcam on. Stucco. Oh, false alarm. That was some spray texture there, I think I saw. <laughs> mm. Somebody disappeared. Oh, we lost Rachel. Savannah. Interesting. Wait, wait, uh, your webcam worked, dude. Strange. Jack. Alien. Mix. Portrait guy. Justin. Yeah, Mike, I'm actually, I, I won the asteroid thing. That's who I am. From wait, the, which one? The asteroids tournament thing you did. I, I was the one that won that. Oh, the, uh, the trials one? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that is I stayed up so many hours trying to beat that last guy. Uh, you look like you're still sleep deprived from it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I, that is that was. It's funny that was like one of the first times where I was just like, "Oh my god, trials can do anything." This is blowing my mind right now. Uh, I actually bought trials just to compete in that, and then so I made my money back. Mm. <laughs> Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's right. What was it? Was it a, a six-month card? 1,600 points. Mm. Okay, I guess I went cheap. Sorry. <laughs> cheap ass. <laughs> it was worth it anyway. It's a fun game. All right, uh, there is right here. I don't know if we're in the same order, but right here is a webcam. Uh, it's and, and it's gone. It's gone. So wait, uh, wait oh, oh, uh, what was your name? Me? Yeah, 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 yeah. I oh, don't curse. Uh, my name is Ryan. Ryan. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Or uh, Silerin on Twitter. I hit you up a lot. Which one is it? Silerin. Or I'll type it out in chat. Yeah, I have a feeling that some of you guys are actually. I'm. I just. Yeah. I would never. I for some. Uh, these names. They're not always pronounced the way they look. They're yeah. like, oh, I'm this person. It's like just type it out. Oh, that word that I said. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh. Slarin or something. Uh. Mike, how's Game of Tets going? Uh, Game of Tets is going good. Uh, we have, I have lots of footage that we've collected so far. We have a handful of people that we still need to go through and record. It's difficult to set up times to do this right now, though, because a lot of us are, uh, because of the holidays and everything, so it's difficult for us to kind of sit down and really organize it. Plus, a lot of them are are from overseas. Well, from 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 your side of the pond, actually. So apparently, everybody over there is good at trials. Which so, is awesome. Which every is time awesome. we talk to somebody, it's like, oh yeah, I'm from. It's what is this so weird? Everybody's like, oh yeah, I'm from like X whatever in Europe somewhere, and it's like, oh, that's great. And the, the next one, it's like, okay, great. And then then I, then we do After Dark, and it's like everyone's like, oh, I'm from Canada. It's like, what the fuck? Like, does <laughs> every show <laughs> just have like a really specific Whatever's demographic? Like, we're like... 90% of the people were from Canada. Exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, the last episode we had, uh, we had a whole bunch, we had Texas, I think we had someone from the South somewhere. I don't consider Texas the South, I don't think anybody does. Uh, like Louisiana or something. Um, we had Californians, I think. But, uh, and K Kentucky? I'm not sure. But yeah, we had, we had a lot of, of uh, U.S. participants last time around. So, so who else is here? Who else is here? What's going on? Uh, Tasmanian Devil. The, the, the room's full. Is my so mic good? Your mic is good, sir. Cool. Sorry about the feedback before. I had my speakers going instead of my headset. I could get a webcam, but that requires going to my Mac. Wait, wait, wait what's wrong? I could get a webcam, but that requires moving over to my Mac. You afraid you're going to lose your spot? Maybe. <laughs> That's it. That, might, that might actually be... And uh, let's see, who who else? We have a couple of of MySpace Toms here. Who are you guys? I just people that saw your link. Like, I'll click on this. See what that I is. know, huh? Click on this link. I'm gonna have to boot. Where's that webcam again? Where's that webcam again? He's getting it. You better have some clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be disappointed if you do. <laughs> All right, MySpace Toms. I'm gonna have to start start booting. Hello. 
Who's that? Hello. Hey. Wait, which one's that? Oh yeah, that's the webcam. Yeah. yeah. Justin C. Yeah. Do you know that me and you and mommy Nice curtain. Thanks. Is that a curtain? Oh, it is a curtain. I thought it was the side of a shelf or something. Oh, wait. there is a side of a shelf there too. But the curtain's prettier. Oh, we also. I, I don't know. I'm not even getting rid of them. They're just disconnecting. <laughs> It's also streaming live on YouTube, so those who just want to watch could just watch it there instead of trying to get in the Hangout. It's uh, it's streaming live on what? YouTube, your channel. Oh, oh, it, so it did actually go there. Wait, oh, I can't see it probably because I am logged in as me. Okay, I'm I'm a big ass. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. You know we weren't gonna say. So you know what oh, no, Whatever. It's your fault, Mike. I bought Zombies soundtrack this morning. I, I don't see that as being a problem. Yeah, I bought that the yeah. day you reviewed that game, and that was amazing. Yeah, it's... Oh, it was the, the Hawken video made me buy it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was... Yeah. Just, I, I literally play Hawken just with that on. Nothing else. I, um... It was funny, some people were like, because, I mean, you play Hawkins, so you could tell that I was sitting there kind of like moving the camera around and everything, you know? Uh, but uh, some of the comments were like, did your character really move like that? It's like, no, man. It was the music. I was feeling it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I made one around for like an hour doing that. Uh, no, there's, it's like there's 30 tracks, man. Like, it's, you. I could talk about this for the next two months because there's so many tracks. Like, you... I, I play the balls off the first 10, and then it's time to move on to track 11 through 20, and just keep going from there. I don't know, man. Hotline Miami is pretty good. What's that? Hotline Miami soundtrack. No, it was. Yeah, no, it is actually really. It's really good. Like, um, kind of has that really great like retro uh, feel. So people were mad that it wasn't on the uh, top five soundtracks, and I was like, sorry. <laughs> do I hear somebody? Do I hear somebody breathing? <laughs> I hope so, otherwise they're dead. <laughs> well, I mean, I shouldn't be using on a microphone. We got a couple more. So, what's going on? All right, so wait, let's, 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 try, uh, let's start with the one that's in the cave. Yo, how's you doing? What's going on? Who are you? I'm Jake from uh, Ventura, California, and I also raid in Months Behind. Uh oh. Oh, who are you? Oh, who? I am Price Cut. Oh my God. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I have a crappy. I have a crappy laptop webcam. So sorry for that. But... Oh, I'm mod for Laura's chat. So hi. Oh, you're Zista's mom. No, I'm Toad's mom. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're basically the same guy. <laughs> I feel like everybody knows each other. It's just like it's, it's, it's a family reunion. Hey, exactly. hey, look, Mike. Mike, this is this is networking for me. I know Lore. Now I have to know you. What's up? There you go. Yeah, I guess that's how it works. <laughs> and and next over with the moon. Uh, that's me, James. I'm. Uh, I used to be active in your Twitch actually under the name Dark Mange. Yes, I know. I remember this. Oh my gosh! I can't remember these names. It's funny when you when you look at uh, when you're streaming and you look at like some of these names and stuff like that. I uh, you you tend to think I will never remember that name. Like it's some of these names are so ridiculous. It's like I will never unless they have something like W A Space Bar and it's like I'll remember that name. You know, but uh, <laughs> then when you guys repeat them over again, it's like okay, as long as one that I actually pronounce it in my head the same way you guys write them or you guys do, and two that. Uh, yeah, but oh, it's interesting. Um, I, I saw your face, Justin C. What? What? I'm getting some feedback too from somebody. Let's see who it is. Check. Is it me? Getting it from you, caveman, Jake. Really? Check. Come up to here. Let me Hello? turn my headset down. Maybe it's just too loud. Blowing out your ears. I'm I'm deaf in one ear, so I kind of have to have it louder. I can't hear it. Okay, well, I'm an asshole. So I'm don't get too close to car bombs, Mike. It sucks. <laughs> Car car bombs! Wow. Wow. I was in a I was in Iraq in 2002 and uh, was a little I was on the other side of the street of a car bomb and it kind of blew up my right eardrum. So. Oh my God! Wow. Close I've ever been to 
anything like that was a damn failed concussive grenade. And that sucked. Could you? I mean, not as much as yours, obviously. I'm just saying, like, I understand what you feel like to the degree of one percent. You can still hear though. So. What did? What did? Uh, what unit were you in? I was. It wasn't really a part of a unit. I was. I. I was a filler, and um, what ended up happening was I was in Iraq for a whopping two weeks, and. Like the first, they, the first time we got sent out, I was a hospital corpsman in the Navy, and they sent this sent me out with some Marines who, their last guy got was sick or something, and they were like, "Well, you're gonna go with this unit, and uh, we'll assign you to an actual unit when you get back," and I didn't get back. Wow. So damn. So you went for two weeks, and you just had like the just the, the craziest. Like just the worst possible time, and in, in such yeah, a short it period was, of time. It was really, really hot, and then I spent six months relearning how to walk because it blew basically my right leg. So you know how your elbow or your your knee bends the one way. Mine like basically made an L shaped. And the opposite direction. Mm. Sideways. <laughs> okay. Wow. That hurt. Not like that's any better, but yeah. Yeah. No, it' not good. But now you do it now. Fine. I, Ten I years work, later, I'm working on becoming a pharmacist. I got I graduate in May, so. Oh, wait. Let me guess. You've been going going to school for like eight years, right? It's about that, like basically since I got out and recovered. School, school, school. I don't want to go to school anymore, man. Class no, sucks. I, I totally yeah. I uh, I used to work in a pharmacy when I was a teenager. Uh, I still. What's funny is I still remember a lot of the shorthand, to like TTPOBID, right? Like take one by mouth, you know. Yeah, three times a day. Yeah, a couple times a day, exactly. Um, I still know all the shorthand and everything. Um, and my handwriting. I I kind of attribute my really shitty handwriting to working there for so long because like you only get exposed to really shitty handwriting. You were so, a tech. I, I was a I was a pharmacist clerk. I don't think I ever made the tech though. No, it was a pharmacist you, clerk. You didn't. You didn't count. No, no, no. I, I, no I, I, I didn't count the pills. I didn't count the pills. But we still, we still did. The only thing we didn't do was count the pills. So uh, you kind of just, you, you kind of worked the counter at a pharmacy. So I, I entered in all the scripts, and uh, I entered all the scripts. I basically did inventory, uh, and uh, and then of course, yeah, I, I dished out. I handed out the drugs to to people. And yeah. oh yeah, and of course, I dealt with insurance companies. Uh, I dealt with people blaming us because their insurance company didn't want to cover a certain drug or something. Oh, yeah. I can't use. I can't. The best one is uh, I can't use the the generic for this because it's not. It doesn't work as good as the brand name or something. And it's like, come on, come on. It's, it just doesn't have that delicious coat on it. Well, well actually, like there is a drug index to where. Uh, a pill, basically, you can have like uh, the name band Viagra and then the generic Viagra, and so long as the generic performs with a certain percentage uh, of an index, then they can claim it as the same stuff. But technically, that's right. People could say that the brand is better because it's quite possibly that within a percentile. So the it so the, the generic Viagra would only keep you hard for an hour instead of four. <laughs> well. <laughs> It, it, that or the generic Viagra will keep you hard for four and a half hours, and then your brain explodes. <laughs> I'm trying to tell this is a I mean, bad thing. I, I you know, I'm I not going to experiment with that. I didn't, yeah, I didn't, I didn't actually know that there was uh, an index rating, but it does, it does make sense. It makes perfect sense. Uh, but yeah, I didn't know that there was sort yeah, of well, an index. Well, uh, there's because there's a lot of different drug manufacturers that will make the same generic. And in order to like basically market that drug as itself, it has to perform it within you know certain parameters, and that's what they call it. So yeah, there's some of them are very wide range. I mean, you can get differences of ten percent, and then there's things like uh, warfarin, which is a uh, blood thinner, has a very very small drug index. So you would go two or three percent in either the direction. Interesting. What? Who is it? That's somebody is. Somebody's mic is leaking. You're not getting feedback from me anymore, are you? I don't know. Uh, actually, 
Let me see. Let me mute you for real quick. Hold on a second. Okay. Nope. The mute function is dumb. It doesn't work. Say something. Oh, never mind. It totally works. Let me unmute you there. Now say something. I think I've permanently muted you. I don't know what to say. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> it won't unmute. It just keeps saying muted. <laughs> That's actually I really can, Oh, there you I go. There unmute, we go. I unmute myself. You mute me, but then I can control... That's okay. mean, dude. You're control of the hangout. You go, I'm going to mute this guy. I'm going to mute anyway, so there. I can, I can kick him out, too. He's great. Oh, snap. All that control. Somebody's right. playing WoW or something. What is this? I see a mouse on the screen. Philip Rushing. Legend of Grimrock. Legend of Grimrock. Oh, is that what it was? How do you guys see this? Do you click on it and you can... Oh, oh, I can control this. Hey. Well, now, now, now I see nothing. I was wondering why I was going to random cameras. I can control everything. All right, here's how we can do this. James. What's up? So what do you do? I am a student right now. Go to U of A in Arizona. See, so you're really into astronomy. Childhood bedroom. Yeah, just <laughs> home for winter. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's pretty funny. That's the, that's the best. That's the <laughs> You just happen to be in your childhood bedroom. And now it's like, oh, yeah. great. It's got all my childhood yeah, that's crap. That's the thing. Exactly. Hey, well, I'm an aerospace major, so hey, I guess it works. Yeah, damn right it works. That's awesome. That, that, that is aerospace, actually, man. Yeah, you can't, you, can't, you can't argue that. It's like, oh, oh, oh look, he's got, he's got spaceships on his curtains. It's like, oh, oh no. Oh, I'm, God I'm on his, damn. Oh, mate. Who is this? <laughs> what? Someone yelled. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Your photo is uh adorable. Yeah, it's great. Oh, this thing's a terrible okay. feedback. God damn piece of shit, Mike. Uh, damn, crap. I'm sorry. <laughs> What'd he do? <laughs> Did I <nothing> wrong? <laughs> I like Philip. Philip's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and just, yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna keep going. Just chill out, you know. I ain't okay. got a webcam, but... Christopher Robin. Hello. Okay. What is going yeah. on, Christopher Robin? It's good. It's 4.50 in the morning. Well, that sucks. Yeah, it sucks being in Norway. <laughs> do you, uh... Do you get a lot of Winnie the Pooh jokes? Yeah, I once introduced me and I got yeah a tigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get used to them. I'm sure. No, I'm I'm sure. Hopefully, <laughs> we're 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 gonna try it with the kid. We're gonna we're gonna stick him with Dobby to see how long <laughs> until he tells us that he hates us for picking that name. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, but come on, man. Just he developed, he turned into like a great, all-powerful wizard. Give me a break. Dobby was awesome. I'm pretty sure you just don't want your kid to have any friends in school. He'll have friends. <laughs> <laughs> don't name him that. Uh, it's his initials, man. What's he going to do? Here's, here's like, the only side effect is that. <laughs> Hide them. Anytime, yeah, anytime he says, uh, any, anytime he sees D-O-B for date of birth, he's going to be like, <laughs> he's gonna. He's just gonna say yes. <laughs> or hi. Exactly. D O B. He'll live. He'll be fine. I'm sure. So, so we have. Uh, what was it? Uh, we have an astrophysicist. <laughs> right. We have. Uh, oh. We have the next Breaking Bad, based on a true story. That's you, by the way. <laughs> oh, game over, this guy. Way to be bad. Don't come on. Don't come on this show. It'd be terrible at freaking Grimrock. <laughs> be bad at Dark Souls. <laughs> That's a. Uh, that game sucks. 
What? Everybody loves that, that game. I don't even know. I never played that game. Mike's played that game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what hasn't Mike played anymore? It's... Yeah, right, then there's that. Um, Mike, here you go. Next BFF report, Hello Kitty Island Adventure. You know what's funny? I, I almost did that. I actually signed up for an account. This is like a year ago. I signed up for an account, and I got in there, and I'm just like, I can't be here right now. I could imagine your wife walks into the room, just looks at the game, just like walks away, shaking her head. Just my... She, I tell her, I, it was funny, I, I tell her sometimes, like, I, I play some of these games, like, especially, what's funny is like the Indie for Breakfast rejects, right? A lot of them just happen to be uh, rejects because they, they, cut, they try to crutch on, on boobs, right? And so I'll be did telling she, my wife. Did you do three hours of cherry poke? I did, I did, I did. And he has a, there's a sequel out to the Trailer Park, whatever, Triple Three, Triple D or something. It's like the third installment. But like I, I'll tell my wife I'll be like, oh yeah, no, there's this game out, and it it's it's totally a a boob game. Like, I, how do I describe it? Like, it's totally a boob game. She's just like, oh, that's nice. Like, she's like, okay, cool. She gives zero shits. Yeah, I'm pretty. You know, it, it, as as many of those like indie ones and stuff you can find, I'm very sad that there's not more of them. Oh, oh well, those type no, there are. I, I've, I've I mean, even I've, gone on new I'm grounds. I'm not talking about games and, that like being blatantly just like, oh, we're gonna be an adult game for the sake of being an adult game. Just like, oh, this stuff that kind of like marked. It's like like Cherry Poke, Leisure Suit Larry, that kind of stuff. That like, I'm actually really surprised that there's not more of it. Maybe there is, and it's just more stuff I don't see. But yeah, I'm I'm disappointed that there's not more like Leisure Suit Larry because that put that put kind of a humorous. Type spin on it. Absolutely. You know? Like, I it miss was... the games that were funny just for the sake of being funny and like outlandish. I mean, Grand Theft Auto and stuff—they throw a lot of humor and things in there. Mm -hmm. But like, it's there's still like that overarching story and that seriousness to it, especially lately. <laughs> but like, just like the stupid, goofiest premise. Like, you're a guy. You're in college. Go get laid. Good luck. <laughs> Saints Row 3 recently for me. <laughs> Saints Row 3 was fantastic. Absolutely. Yeah. That game was just really good in all respects. It kind of, it, it was the roots of like the humor of Grand Theft Auto and the absurdity behind it before it got to this whatever it is now. And it just took it to a whole other level. It was crazy. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> I have it down. Off the top of your penthouse. <laughs> yeah. I have Finding the crates of the blow up dolls. <laughs> yeah, it's just like it. What was that, Curtis? I have it downloaded and I'm just I'm just waiting for the right time when I can just laugh my shits off. Yeah, I have it um I because you know all the bundles and everything, right? Like that was THQ part of a bundle, bundle. recently. Yeah, THQ bundle, exactly, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that's sitting there and it's like, oh Christ. Yeah, do a like, video on that, please. For the love of God, do a video on that. Um, I, don't which one? What, I don't care what video you do. I don't care if you what series you put it in, or if you just do it for shits and giggles. Do a friggin' video with that. Yeah, that'll be hilarious. Oh, on the third? Yeah. Yes, oh, please. Oh we beg of you. Like that is top request right there, right now. Just do like a big purple dildo beating marathon. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing. It's not a surprise. I've already seen it all. Like I've seen, I seen all that shit online. You know, so it's like Donnell place. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah! Oh, that yes. That would be amazing. That's actually a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's up? It's your boy Darnell. What's going on? Oh damn! Look at that purple dildo back. I got this. Yo, let's go. Let's do it. Come on, yeah. Come here, bad guy. Let's go. <laughs> uh, damn, that is guy is Darnell better than I do. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I've trolled more with it too. <laughs> hey, yeah, Lord, what's going on here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See? What? That's the, that's the secret. You just talk really quiet and you can do almost anything with your voice. Nice. Exactly, right? <laughs> play it low and stuff. Holy shit. <laughs> Are you scared? <laughs> Back to the rock. Check, <laughs> checking in with Philip. You're fucked. All right, back to everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mike, when are you going to play Wasteland? Run away. When I play what? Wasteland. Armor 2, the mission. Oh, uh, I don't know, actually. <laughs> I've 
I, <laughs> I do, I do have it, right? So I should actually do something with it. But um, I don't know. It's it's tough to prioritize games, honestly. Like it's re- it's it, that's like the hardest part of doing this is going through and uh, checking out all like the mods and all that stuff. Because like Shizzle hits me up, and uh, what's another mod that was pretty popular? Is the one where you have like good guys versus bad guys or cops versus something. Uh, Nobody for Counter Strike, wasn't it? No, no, that was, no, that's for Arma. Was it APB? No. No, no, it's an Arma mod, Arma Two mod. Well, Wasteland's not a mod no actually; it's just the mission type. So all you have to you don't even have to download anything. So you just have to launch your Arma Two Operation Arrowhead. You're fine, and then filter for Wasteland mods for mission type. Hmm. It's real simple. Basically, it's the the Russians versus the American and British, and then you have independents, which are independent. You can do what the hell they want. Mm-hmm. And it's pretty fun. You go around, you know, uh, take over bases, build your own bases. Build? That's yeah, you can build whatever you want. Like you find objects and like you know all the major towns and build stuff, shoot shit. stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh, take, exactly. Get weapon caches, so you get better weapons. You know, get you know. Also, a mission will pop up or a side quest, or what they call it, and uh, you can get a you know a tank or an APC. Mm-hmm. Or you get down helicopter. All you have to do is repair it and fuel it, and you have a helicopter. Like random. Uh, oh jeez, cars spawn throughout the world and stuff like that with weapons in them. So. There's always weapons around, and it's always action. Oh, <laughs> yeah, put it on my list. It's <laughs> always action. Jeez. Yeah, let's see. What do I have? Uh, just, just like for this next week and a half, um, going to start doing any for breakfast again. Took like a week off or so just to kind of get the top five stuff out of the way. So I'll probably pick it up this week or next week after that. But for that, I have, I have some... I have some older games. I have Dungeon Defenders because I've never done a video on Dungeon Defenders, and I own it on every platform that it's available on. So, <laughs> I, I, I was it was funny. I, I got it for uh, I picked it up from the bundle, the, the indie indie bundle, and um, I went. I was, I was like, surely I have a video on this somewhere, and I went and looked it up, and I was like, oh my god, I, I really not ever done a video on this. What the? Um, but what sucks is like my my PC account, or I, well, I think my Steam account's fresh, but I have another account somewhere else, I think. I don't even know. Right? That's the thing. I, don't, I can't keep track of which one I played. I know I played the most on my Android, but then I stopped using that because uh, I switched over to the iPhone. So I know I've played it. And, and that's, and, and, and yeah, okay. And then the other thing is that um, my iPad has one account, or one character, and my iPhone has another so every time I log into my iPad, it's just like, oh, there's your character. And it's like, oh, God. So I have, like, all these half-assed characters that I've been building up. And then and in the PC version, it's like, oh, would you like Damn. a tutorial? It's like, no, bitch, I played this thing a billion times. <laughs> it, is it usually, the, don't the, usually with the games that are available on multiple markets like that have, like, a, a kind of a Facebook link cloud to it? I think there is. I never use it. I, I don't use, I try not to use, like, Facebook Connect uh, and all that stuff as often as possible. Um, you don't want to a bunch of your friends going. Oh, you know, well, great! Mike B's playing some other random ass game. I don't care. I know, right? No, I have all my um. Yeah, right. My friends. It's like <laughs> this is a guy. I think he plays video games for a living or something. Uh, I know. There's. Uh, I, don't, I don't even want to picture your Steam list, dude. Like it's not my Steam list. Actually, I don't think it's that bad. Let me see. I'm curious. Oh. Pop this up here. Let's load. Um. I want to check. It's like a hundred. It's a hundred and something. Actually, I, you know, it's, I I can't say that I don't think it's that bad because I don't know what is that bad. <laughs> How do I see? Uh, is there a okay? A that bad would be all the games. Uh, there are definitely people that have more than I do. There is a website that you can that calculates all your how much all your games are worth. Oh, oh wait, maybe That'd my profile has it. Yeah, I've heard of that. What is that? Uh, the oh, fact. Like Steam. I, I think it's... Wait, did you already say what it was? Oh, 217. Here it is. 217. Damn. Is that, is that a lot? Yeah. 
it would be a lot. Of, it would be a lot if they were all triple A titles. But I know you yeah. have probably a crap ton of indie yeah, stuff on there. They're not, uh, yeah. okay. I think I'm on like 120 or so. I bought a uh, I bought a brand new gaming laptop a year ago, um, and right in my when I bought it, it was right at summer. So like the moment I bought the same gaming laptop, it was like, hey, look, all these games are on sale now. So it was like, buy all the packs, all of them, just whatever. You know, it, it's 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 not as indie heavy as you'd think. It's not. I'm going I'm going through it right now. It's like, oh uh, yeah, there's there's some for sure. But it's definitely not as much as I, because your point was taken. I was like, okay, yeah, maybe it is, but no, uh, it it's. I would say it's probably fifty fifty. That's not bad. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's not even like Gene Forge, right? Gene Forge is like eight games, so that doesn't count. Um, yeah, you get is the, the whole worst, series. Though. Yeah, I have all of them. Like XCOM and all four versions and all the Counter Strikes and all that. Yeah, I actually do not own that. And I was gonna pick that up, but then uh, the Valve bundle—you didn't get that. What's that? You, that's the Valve bundle, right? Right, where you got like Left 4 Dead, Left 4 Dead 2, all the portals, and all the Counter Strikes and stuff, all in one. No, I uh, no, I was talking about XCOM, but it, but I have I have Portal, Portal 2, uh, I have Half Life. I got the XCOMs in some stupid bundle. I forget which bundle it was, but Half-Life. I got one. Yeah, I have Half Life, and oh, do we even own Counter Strike? I don't think I do. I own Counter Strike. Oh God, okay, yeah, it's not sorted by any name. Okay, sort by name, please. <laughs> hey, Mike, are you gonna do a uh, BFF report on Forge by any chance? On Forge, actually, Forge is on my list to do it in you for breakfast first. Oh, okay. Um, and I was thinking of. Hold on, let me see. Do, do I actually have? Counter Strike? I don't have Counter Strike. Come on, look at that. This, although it does kind of fall into my my whole thing where I'm just like, fuck Counter Strike. It's all about Unreal Tournament. So <laughs> at least I'm staying true to that. Um, oh, here we go. Yeah. So my 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 Deserialist has about equal or the same number of games. So so I, I have probably like 300 something games, and that's not counting indie games on the Xbox. I have oh, yeah, a, a lot there too. So yeah, well, your I have, indie I have, for breakfast series is like with two hundred videos or something now, right? Yeah, I have probably like five hundred, five hundred games, and of that, <laughs> like two hundred plus or something, two hundred and something is probably what I've done just in this year. So, uh, but yeah, Forge. Um, I got in Forge and I played it uh, for like twenty minutes, and I was like, oh my god, it's just like getting into arena. I'm terrible. Um, <laughs> but no, it's it's uh, one it plays fucking great. Like it, it played great on my i7. My, I'm sorry, my i7, my 920. I can't imagine how well it'll do. I haven't even launched on this new machine yet. So um, I was thinking of doing any for breakfast. And and check this out. I, I I kind of was thinking for maybe the next couple of weeks or something as like a trial period, just kind of see how it works out. Um, every indie for breakfast. So indie for breakfast is definitely one of my most viewed shows collectively, right? Like if I add them all up, uh, cumulatively, yes, it's gonna have have like the most number of views for a single show. Um, well, you release per- more content through that. Right, yeah, but my but the per show is not as high as I like it to be. It's been it's been good, but I think it could definitely be better. Uh, I think switching to PC kind of, uh, definitely helped a little bit. I think people like a little bit of both because uh, in general Xbox games are not quite as as high quality as as PC games and so I rip on them a little bit more. So they look for that. Um, but I was thinking for every for every any for breakfast that I do to give away a copy of that game on that same uh, like to like the YouTube comments or something, that'd be pretty cool. I mean, if you're going to be doing Forge, I'll definitely <laughs> comment for that. It looks so good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, Forge. I was yeah. I was looking at it. It's uh. I mean, it's like it's 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 a obviously every everything that I do, it's like an investment, right? It's like if I if I want to do that. So I first starting any for breakfast was kind of like let's I want to do a show, but I was I was kind of like kind of wary with how, how I would get in there and buy the games ahead of time and then, you know, turn around and then when I get, like, a check from YouTube, then I could turn around and buy more games. Luckily, the Xbox games were so cheap, the indie games were, like, a dollar each. It was difficult for me to not make that work. Um, Wait, so... So, so huh? you monetize your videos from YouTube? Like, from straight from YouTube? You don't go through, like, a mother channel? I thought Game Breaker 
monetize them for you. Kind of like how TGS monetizes for like other uh, child co uh, channels, and then it goes through them. That way, they can produce like any content without having copyright infringement. No, I, I, I monetize everything myself. Oh, wow. That's really impressive. So I'm guessing that's why you stopped doing the Halo, uh, <laughs> the Halo uh, playthroughs. Cause no, Halo... the, the only reason why I stopped the Halo stuff is because it was it was a pain in the ass to make the episodes of switching back and forth okay. through the views. Yeah, I bet. Uh, I, I'm, I'm wondering if, if I were to just post, like, Shizzle's POV and then my POV, like, if people would just load them both up and just watch them like that, like, if they would be satisfied with that. Tell you the truth, I think people would just be satisfied with your POV. I don't think anybody needs to see Shizzle. I mean, Shizzle's cool and all. I'm just saying that you you have quite a lot of subscribers that are there for you. So I'm going to say. Well, when we do these, when we do these uh, let's play type things where you're playing with somebody. I mean, I play a Shizzle because I mean, Shizzle. I consider Shizzle the friend. I I only know what he looks like. I have no. All I know is his real name and. And that that's like it. That's like the most I know about this guy. He's like some mystery person, but uh, but yeah, we, we game a lot because he's fun to play games with, right? Um, and he's not really looking at blowing up his YouTube channel or anything, but still, like I, the idea of doing this kind of cross promotion thing is something you guys probably you've, you've seen. I think like Terraria with Told Biscuit, yeah. Jesse Cox, right? That's probably one that everybody knows. Um, I even ran it by I ran it by Told Biscuit, and I, I I hit him up, and I was like, I was thinking of doing a. If, I, if I'm going to do a Let's Play series, does it make sense to cross-promote by alternating channels, or does that get annoying? He said, no, that's the best way to do it, to benefit both channels, because then you have this kind of cross-promotion, like, bleed-over. Um, and so that's why we were doing it like that with, with Shizzle. I think that kind of made a lot of sense to, to, to do that. And if people didn't want to watch on Shizzle's channel for whatever reason, then they could just watch... They could just follow the link when the next one's posted, right? And then they could go back and watch it that way. That's good, but a lot of people prefer, like, playlists. I guess you can still do the playlist between them. But uh, I actually do a lot of YouTube or uh, Halo stuff on my YouTube channel. Um, so I was actually really hoping you'd get more into it because I want to really promote you, but uh, my manager won't let me unless you do more Halo stuff, which is really sad because you're probably one of my favorite people to watch play video games. Yo, wait, your, your manager, wait, what do you, what do, you do? Wait, who's this? Who's this? Oh, uh, uh, well... Um, you won't know me because you're more of a PC world, but uh, I do um, basically Halo. So I do like you know how Halo has a forge, kind of like Trials, um, has like an editor option. I basically yeah, yeah. feature stuff on this channel, um, and so people come and watch us for that. And so I'm only really allowed to promote stuff that's like Halo related. And all the people who's on the channel like all do like only play Halo. I'm the only one who like plays PC in every other game. Uh, which is kind of a bummer, but I really, really wanted to promote you because you're just so cool. Uh, we have about 60,000 subscribers now, so we're moving oh, up. Oh, wow. There, it's a lot of fun. Wow. I might have to talk to you some more in a minute. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then with, the, with the, your Let's Plays, too, uh, talking like the way Jetsy and, and TB did the Terraria thing, it was like one person wasn't uploading every video part. It would be like... Uh, Mostly Total Biscuit, and then like Jesse would post like two or three in a row, and then it'd go back to Total Biscuit and back and forth. Mm -hmm. So like you'd kind of have to bounce between the channels to uh, get like the full like playthrough essentially. And, and I guess that's, I think that's what he meant to because it would promote both you know obviously both YouTube guys because people are going to both channels. Yeah, yeah. Wait, with with Shizzle, um, like uh, like Shizzle's channel, yeah, he's. He's a, a I think it's under a thousand, but it wasn't necessarily like we weren't doing it to like I wasn't doing it because I was trying to like get more subscribers on my end, right? I was, and he wasn't really doing it so that he could get like you know a lot of subscribers on his end. Yeah, he he makes Daisy videos and Planet Side Two videos, and it's just funny, right? Uh, but Definitely. you know he's not he's not trying to really um, make this like a a career thing. I don't think I don't think, um, but. Yeah, we weren't necessarily. If, if, if I guess if I was gonna do it like that, uh, I'd want I, I like if I were to do it to, to where I wanted to make uh, or increase like my subscriber count, I would do it with somebody that had like you know twenty to thirty thousand subscribers, like like I do. I think I'm at twenty six thousand. So I, that, do that's where I would do it. With. Oh, so um, are you offering a playthrough with me? Is that what, Mike? I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but you said you just managed playlists. Uh, no, no, I, I do my own reviews. I just, I, I can't do anything other than Halo because we're 
sucks too. So I want to do. That seems really stuff. limiting. It is, and I, I have my own channel, but people don't go there for me just yet. I'm I'm trying to get more of a fan base. They go there for the content. They're not going for the person that's doing the content. So I'm trying to make it where I'm writing a lot more like jokes into it and whatnot. And so people are liking me instead of just the channel. And so then I can kind of take those subscribers and uh, kind of kickstart my own personal channel that I have the free reign to do whatever. But mm -hmm. tell Mike B did it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, I just I just told some jokes and I was like, <laughs> you insulted the hell out of what, what was it? Champions online? Uh, no, it's, it's I think or it's, no a Aeon, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Aeon, Ion, fuck it, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually um, I've been I I've been a writer for a long time and um, I was sitting down and I actually was talking to uh, Lord to see if he would be interested in doing this. I wanted to do a uh, big wow retrospective review from a bunch of people who are well-known wowers and getting their kind of like, not necessarily their experiences in vanilla and, you know, Burning Crusade and stuff, but like getting their actual review of the game, what hooked about it, what worked, what didn't work, and and just kind of piece together the, how all these different guys thought about it who are, you know, big wow players that everybody kind of knows. Right. Interesting. Interesting. That's a cool idea. Yeah. yeah. You especially, see, um, especially with WoW getting as old, and you know, I mean, Blizzard's announce, announcing Titan this year. They have to. It's just they've already they've registered this mystery trademark. They got BlizzCon coming out this year. There's no other announcement for them to make at BlizzCon unless they're going to be like, the Heart of the Swarm is pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, we've added another class in Diablo three. What? <laughs> I, I would, that would bother me so much. I'm actually three for endless hours. I think we're going to this year's BlizzCon. I live in uh, Orange County, so I'm not too far away from it. So oh yeah, hopefully yeah, I'll be I'll be more than likely going to that for sure. I try to make I try to make BlizzCon more than anything else. Um, I mean, I live I, so I live in the Bay Area, San Francisco Bay Area. So going to you GDC, cheat and get press SF, passes. Nobody huh? feels bad for you. You cheat and get press passes. I. Uh... Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Dick. Are you, are you gonna go to E3, Mike? Um, when is E3? It's uh, is it in July? June, June July. June. Yeah, I, I think I'm pretty sure. Like everybody is pretty sure that they're announcing the new Xbox, so that'd be exciting. And PlayStation Three. Don't forget. And, well, no, nobody cares about that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> don't start something. Is it Sorry. already though? Te like, it's, it's, yeah, like technically, technically announced, it's, like, but it's gonna be like. See what like, it looks like. Yeah, see, you know, oh, we can have Google Plus Hangout on it, or I don't know, something. Yeah, stupid. yeah, they're gonna advertise the new, the new Xbox by going, hey, look, now you can see Master Chief's pimple. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Well, the, the, the new Kinect's supposed to have like sensors that can detect your hands or your fingers. I mean, oh, great. Woo. Yay! <laughs> it works so well now. It's, yeah, exactly. It's gonna be a new, a new cherry poke out. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Bat oh, detector armed. Indie game fun they'd have with Connect. I'm. They have to open that up. There's. There's. Right. Yeah. Right now. There's. Do any indie games? No. No. Avatar is the most they do in terms of like in relation to, uh, pre-existing assets. Um, Avatar is the only thing they ever they ever do and for indie games on Xbox, but. Uh, I can't imagine what they do. Yeah. Oh, and the other thing is I've seen like the. Um, the the massage therapist or the massager or whatever it's called. It's a uh, all it does is just it just it just vibrates the controller and you can control how you want the vibrates to go and all that stuff. It's I'm I'm really weird. sad that like they 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 develop this technology with with, with the Kinect and be like you are the controller and and the, the, all the stuff with the Wii and it's all about you know go exercise. Like no, I want to play a game. Yeah, right? Like, I, I want to sit on the couch. If I want to exercise, I'd go my ass outside. Like, that's the reason that's why what I the outside is for. That's the reason I didn't get Legend of Zelda. It's like, ah, I don't have the stamina for this, so <laughs> I'm just going to go play Halo. Yeah, I watched my friend play that on the Wii, and it's just swing for like five hours. I'm like, <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> you need Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> and, not, yeah. and not the generic not the stuff generic. either. Get the good stuff. <laughs> you need the generic stuff. Like your get the real deal. That's longer. <laughs> Oh dear. Did you see this uh this new like TV show on TBS that's coming out that's supposed to be like King of the Nerds and uh Trade Chat actually is on it, which is pretty cool. I've heard of this. I've I I don't I don't um I don't explore on TV very much. I, I just I just saw show. The Hobbit today and it was a trailer for it and I was like, What? Oh. That's pretty sweet. Didn't they already do that show? It's called Big Bang Theory. 
<laughs> we don't talk about that. <laughs> I think it's more of a reality show, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's a reality a... show. It's, it's oh. supposed to be like Biggest Loser, but literally. <laughs> wow. Is Trade Chat the prize at the end of the show? Because then I'd watch it. Right? No. I, well, you get you can be voted off, and I'd be like, well, <laughs> they've got to keep her on. No, it was. <laughs> oh, well. She's, she's just going to be following. on it for the sake of being on it, then then it might not be as interesting. If she's well, no, just she, like... she's co competing, but like if she gets voted off, like there goes 100 you know, okay, people watch Dude, it. All she has to do is, like, presents. sit down for every confession in a bikini, and she'll <laughs> never get voted off. No, she's, she, she's, so, a cool, she's uh, really cool in general. Uh, yeah, she's, obviously, uh, Jake, you, you find her attractive. <laughs> yeah. Right? And, uh, <laughs> Something think, about I, pink hair. I think that's, yeah, no, I, th I think that's the general consensus. Yeah, she's, she's, she's attractive. Okay. But, oh, but you well, don't know who else is going to be on there, right? You have no idea who okay. else is going to be part of this thing. I, well, name, they have some name, encompass too. other nerds you might know, Mike, really. Yeah, dude. Unless, uh, unless they stick, unless they stick Megan Fox on there, you know. Jeff from Rooster Teeth. Come Marina on. Funes plays <laughs> or him. Yeah. I don't understand. Or get Total Biscuit on there. Then that'd, we be, go. that'd be hilarious. That'd be the funniest show ever. I hate everybody here. <laughs> <laughs> WT, so awful. Why am I here? <laughs> Jesse Cox as well. Just him and TV. That's all Jesse you need. Cox. To be the hilarious team. <laughs> Just a TV show, just with them, like in a room. That's or, all you uh, need. Boogie, that'd be awesome if you got on there, Francis. You just do I want to see Angry Joe something. on something like that. Oh yeah, <laughs> I would love to see Angry Joe on some kind of reality show like that. I could just see him just just going off. <laughs> that'd be an amazing reality show. Just to get all the YouTube personalities together, the big ones, and lock them in a room. Do it like well, Big Brother style or something. That's so broad. Like yeah. big YouTube personalities. Like yeah, yeah, now you including no, Ray no, William no, Johnson. No, okay, no. The, the, the good ones. ones. The good if, ones. If, if, oh, if they still. look, you, if you stick a bunch of YouTube, actually Jesse Cox just did this for the Final Fantasy anniversary, right? You stick a bunch of nerds in a single house and you film it. They're <laughs> just gonna play games and order nachos. Right. That I might mean, be worth watching. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's true. It's absolutely true. Yeah, just get it just be... involved. It'd be okay. Speaking yeah. of watching, Mike, if they ever let uh, the connect out for indie uh, indie you know programmers, you need to have a little camera of you playing the game as well. We can't oh just see the game. We need to see the ridiculousness. <sighs> People <laughs> want that. Have for, to put clothes uh, on. They wanted that with 15 Mog. They're like, oh yeah, you should do the connect case. It's funny. Like the whole point of 15 Mog. Uh, for those of you guys who haven't seen it, it was basically a cross between. Like uh, kind of a first impressions let's play and uh, and mystery science theater three thousand, um, <clears throat> where it's like a silhouette. But and I was I was totally okay with using a silhouette and you know being very animated and stuff like while I when I talk and air and while I play and everything. Like I wouldn't normally like hold the controller up. Actually, I'm I'm lying in a sense. Like, I will. <laughs> I I do. I mean, who doesn't? Right? I mean, I'm playing dirt too. I'm just like. <sighs> You know, and so yeah. yeah. We heard you play trials you too. <laughs> trials, trials is you know, tr trials is uh. Fap in the because trial. because there's because there's no turning because you can't turn left or right. It's all this. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Can we get time lapse that. of you for a Willet donkey of of what you've been doing for that time? <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to do that one day. That sounds yeah. Cause cause I'm not uh when, when especially when I'm concentrating, right? Uh, I I tend to stay kind of quiet and just like I'll 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 curse a lot, uh, but just not very loud, right? Um, so what what you hear on Willick Donkey is is basically all the inner monologue that. Like I go through while I'm actually playing the whole thing, uh, but yeah, I think the uh, I'm I'm interested in what that would look like. Cause I have a feeling it'd be just a whole lot of like this. I'm actually curious to to find out what would happen if Darnell did a Will of Donkey. <laughs> Ooh. It'd be like Clop, well, wouldn't it? <laughs> Get up the damn hill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Well, I damn it. Do a Darnell narration. Yeah, of you. Chisel. Huh? Do a Darnell narration of Shizzle doing a track. Oh my! That's that would work. That's so complicated. Will it Shizzle? Shizzle hate you for it. Will it Shizzle? 
I ran that. I, I ran that idea by That's him. I, I was, I, 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 it's funny. Wait, how did that come up? Because I I told him that like last week. Uh, did it come up during the live stream? Is that what happened? I remember hearing that on there. Okay. Okay. So it did come up. Uh, yeah, I mentioned that last week, and he said he said he'd be down. He said he wouldn't play any trials in between. And I'm not sure if I want to keep it just trials, right? I'm I'm wondering if maybe I should just kind of ex like just kind of keep it open, like maybe do trials first because trials is a fucking dickhead ass game. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but I think kind of keeping it open uh, so we can kind of explore other things. But he he did say that he wouldn't play trials just so he wouldn't accidentally get better because he's getting pretty good. You know, he's playing and he's getting you know better at at, at, at you know doing various things. But he sucks at the donkey. Which is great because I could stick him on a donkey at any time. He can never get better at that, and just basically unleash him somewhere. He just needs to get the donkey for the new tracks. Yeah, yeah. oh, those, we'll those, yeah, those, those extreme. Wait, tracks. can you buy it? I thought you could buy it on the marketplace. No, you can't buy it. You, ha you have to buy Trials HD, and then you have to go and complete an achievement. And the achievements for like a novice is not easy because you basically have to go through an entire uh, track. Without using, without leaning cool. back yeah. and forth. I saw the achievement. I thought I had to do it in Trials of Evolution, so I did it. And I was like, "Where's my bike?" And then I was like, "Oh, I had to do it in the other Trials game." And then I was yeah. like, ah. <laughs> "Yeah, I'll just watch you play with the well, uh, yeah, I, I think, I think, uh, uh, Gold. I th uh, right according to the press release, like it comes with <laughs> everything or something. I don't know the way it's something. Something was worded somewhere. And that whole release that made it sound like we would be getting the donkey, like by default, which would be it's awesome. Like, that would be amazing. That's for like all of the content. For the PC version. Yeah, for the PC version. Was that it what was that? Like all of the content for um, Charles HD would be in Charles Gold. There you go. There you so, go. Probably. That's no. That's got to be a yes. Like that, the donkey is part of the trials HD content. Damn it! Yeah. Has to. When that comes out, I'm my life is over. Oh, I know. <laughs> I was, I was this close to buying an Xbox, but I was like, no, I'll wait for it to come out on PC. <laughs> but in the will. same way. Only reason it's I got not. an Xbox was because of Halo. Oh, I love Halo. <laughs> and Gears of War about one. Gears of War three. That's the only reason. I, I like my Xbox. I, I don't need to purchase TV. I just watch Netflix all the time. <laughs> no, that's true. No, that's absolutely true. I had the same thing. Uh, I did that with my PlayStation 3 for a while until it blew up on Every, every time <laughs> I play on consoles, I always get super pissed because I'm like, I could be playing this on PC right now. It's 10 times better. <laughs> it's it's man, true. They meant but... to that. Hey, but the new Xbox is supposed to be pretty good, so... Yeah, for like a month, and then, <laughs> right? you know, PC substantiates it again. <laughs> That's 400 bucks I'm going to spend. I know, right? <laughs> uh, at least, yeah, fuck. Well, the one thing nice about Xbox that you don't get on PC <laughs> is, like, a really good, like, sense of community, because they have, like, a better, like, uh, friends list type option. Like, you can get that through Steam, but you don't oh have that, God. like, Minecraft and such, which is kind of obnoxious using a PC, but... At least Xbox got that. Well, my experiences with Steam is like super smooth, but I, I'm just hating this interface with this Xbox because it's like you know it, it's like a wannabe computer. I just fucking hate it. Wow, no, that's my opinion. Well, <laughs> but I'm just saying like there's a lot of games like any game made by EA you cannot get on Steam. So oh yeah, you're right. You're totally it, right. It's kind of nice on the Xbox that all the games are contained to here's my friends yeah. list. Here's everybody playing everything. You don't have to. Fine, yeah, yeah, everything's you know, like a uniform style. It's like, like it works with everything. Skype has gotten has been like the unofficial friends list for yes. computers. Yes, that's so <laughs> annoying. Yeah, if if there was if there was like, um, it's so much like for example, I did I did I streamed Halo Four multiplayer yesterday and right was it yesterday I think it was yesterday. Yeah. Um, and it was a uh. It was it was great because it was very easy for me to go and, and bring people into the conversation so that we could go and play, but and then, and then as I was looking at that, it's like wow, that was awesome. Now on PC, it's like oh yeah, I mean on Skype, and, uh, and it wouldn't even be on my main account. Like if I add someone on my main account, I have to like delete them, you know, afterwards. Yeah. It's like it's just I already have a thousand people on there. Like adding any more would just be silly. Also, the fact that Skype takes dominance over everything on your computer is oh my, my gosh! I can't tell you how many times I'm playing League of Legends, someone calls me, and I'm just like, no, <laughs> no. Do you have more than one monitor? Uh, yeah, but 
not good enough computers to handle like uh, that sort of thing. But um. <laughs> that's see, that's why that's why you do a lot of Xbox stuff. Yeah, right exactly, yeah, exactly, exactly. Computers for editing right now. I mean, I'm, I, I, I'm gonna invest one in. I, I mean, I hardly have any experience with PC gaming, but compared like directly, like right now in my current situation, it's like so much better, even with this piece of shit TV. I mean, PC. <laughs> Well, it's, speaking of like developing, like going to like the next level with consoles and stuff, I got a question for you, Mike. Mm-hmm. How long until you think we have uh, graphics so good where Hologram imagine bitches? <laughs> ima- um, imagine a play like a Blizzard cinematic, only that's gameplay. Oh, how long before that? Crisis I don't, I don't think. Um, Crisis three. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, it would be. It would be. But again, the console's fucking. What was it. that? I just hate were, them. I hate there them was. So much. Oh shit! What was it? Uh, the guys who did Heavy Rain, they did like this short flick. Oh. With with the girl, the oh, girl robot. Yeah. Girl. That was years ago. Yeah, that, that was yeah. three. Yeah, that, that was, that was about yeah, that was about a year ago and some change. But it was they had emu- they they had actually did that whole thing. Uh, in real time, and I think they said on PS3 hardware. Isn't that correct? No. Yeah. yeah, it was in the Sony press conference. Yeah. The robot one. Yeah. Um, yeah. That was that looked so good. It was a concept, basically. Yeah, yeah, it was a con- it was totally a concept. It was obviously a lot of very fixed elements and everything. Yeah, but... that's, that's how Heavy Rain played though. They could definitely make games like that more, yeah. which I, I didn't really like though. And this well, is this is this oh, is running God. on like a, the PS3. So how long before we see that? I would say if we if we don't start seeing that by the end of the next generation, because here's what happens when they release consoles, they're releasing this platform that people have to now learn how to uh, push to the limits, right? This is why. Uh, what's a good example? Like Halo Three, right? Halo Three launched with yeah. Xbox Three Sixty or was it Halo Two? It was Halo Three, I believe. Halo Three, Halo okay. 3. Yeah, I was Halo Three. Yeah, I have it. Halo, Halo Three brought down their servers and it it pushed their <laughs> Xbox Live to uh, their limits. Right, right, but but now look at look at how what Halo Halo Three looks like, and then look at what Halo Four looks like. Yeah. That- this, this this is what happens. This is what happens as these developers get better at developing these platforms and these engines, and they optimize them enough to work on these platforms. So the games that launch with, you know, the, the 720 or the PS4 or whatever, um, they're gonna look good. They're definitely gonna look good because it'll be flagship titles and everything, right? Yeah. Uh, but we we probably won't see that really realistic that that you know that wow cinematic uh, uh, type of uh, Blur Studio cinematic. What we can even say uh, that type nerdgasm of, uh, cinematic. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Uh, of of real time rendering, probably till till the end of that lifespan. So maybe a couple years after that is when we're gonna start really seeing it. Heavy Rain gives a great example of how they do it now. Uh, imagine that times whatever uh, you know they put into like this new system. I'm, I'm just, just, just wondering how expensive things are gonna like get in the time where touchscreen is like super old school. I don't like in Back to the Future. Why do we need touchscreen? I don't understand what's wrong with the controller. That's, I think that's just a corporate gimmick. Controller? I don't know. I just hate it. Uh, well, I, I just really well, it's really for, good for your phone. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for all the crap games that are just going to be launch titles, and that will be showing off one feature that the console comes <laughs> out with, like a dragon game that you use your controller to turn the dragon. That... <laughs> oh, like like Heavenly Sword with the arrows. Oh, I remember that. That was Lair. Those games. Yeah, Lair. Was it Lair? Oh, yeah, the, ride your dragon with the six axes. <laughs> the six axes didn't even work. It was like, <laughs> <That was> horrible. <laughs> Completely <laughs> broken game. <laughs> So, so wait, so the so question funny. was, um, how long until touchscreen is old? So, you Back to the Future was really great, because like, he's like, oh, you have to use your hands? It's like a child's yeah. toy. Um, so, I don't, know, I don't know how old some of you guys are. I- I'm guessing between, we'll say, 17 and 30-something, right? Who's a 17-year-old? <laughs> Me. Mike, how'd you know? Oh, I, I, Christopher Robin is, <laughs> I could tell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it, it, look, look at when. So, when I was a kid, we used to dump programs using cassette tape, right? Uh, oh, everything no, was recorded to an actual, you know, magnetic cassette tape. Like you, you guys would get like albums and such on. We would dump all of our programs to that. Uh, we didn't actually have. We didn't actually have any permanent memory, right? We had bubble memory, and that was like pretty much the extent of our memory. So, anytime we wanted to load a program, it was using that, or depending on what system you had, uh, you would load up uh, a. Lo- you had to have a boot disk. You put in first. You let it do its thing. You wait 
for like the green light to go twice, then you pull it out and you put in a, an actual load disk, whatever program you want to use. Um, so we we kind of we kind of I kind of I kind of started in a very everything was built it from the ground up. So if I wanted a program, a, a, a game or something, I'd actually program it myself. And so that's how I learned how to type. Uh, that's why I type really fucked up now, but it doesn't matter. It's, it, it, that's how I, how I learned. It's like I, I started I started with that. So that was my thing, like that real basic, basic, basic type of setup. Now, like I look at my kid, right? My kid is already touching and playing at the iPad. He doesn't know what he's doing. All, all he knows is that this shiny thing, I touch it and it makes a sound. Uh, Do you have the uh, Jordan Rudis app? Uh, like the key- keyboard wizard app thing he has on the iPad. No, nah. it's like a um, kind of like a uh, what is it like? You, you basically, like the the screen becomes a giant like just flat notepad, right? And like if you you touch like the corner and you get a note, you can slide your finger around and it just changes the pitch of the note and all the and it's just like a giant inverted keyboard on there, all MIDI, and you can get it at the iPad. I think it's like three bucks. It's Great for somebody like you, because you put samples, you can record your own music and stuff straight off of that. Plus, your kid would love the hell out of that. So I, I use this. Um, it's called. Uh, it, it's it's developed by Propeller Heads, which is I use Reason on the computer. Uh, it's developed by Propeller Heads. What's it called again? Fucking name of this program. Uh, it's called Figure, right? And you ha- you could go through and you have all these program programmable states, uh, and then you could go through and you could record things. And what's nice is that you could take it because like there's there's like it's hard to see, but there's like different variables and stuff and things you could do, and then you can flip to the side, and what it does is it basically changes into uh, an actual. George. Right? Oh shit! It's it's really really simple to use, um, and it's this is what he's been playing with. Like I'll, I'll hold this in front of him on my iPad or or on the phone. <laughs> And he'll sit there and he'll he doesn't he doesn't point with his finger, right? He's not like some boy genius, right? He just goes <laughs> <laughs> But I, I have a I have a two year old um niece who or a, a three year old niece and she has she's on the iPad and she understands everything. Like she knows to scroll, to launch a program. She had a program that wouldn't load right away, right? So she knew how to she knew how to quit to quit it out and to go and reload it again. Um, and so think, so think about it. Like these kids are gonna look at mice and keyboards, like that. Oh, wow. oh, that's stuff my parents use, yeah. right? And they're gonna be all about the touch screens. And so they're gonna be the ones gonna be like, oh, well, I'm tired of using this archaic touch screen technology. <laughs> let's let's go ahead and further develop these, you know, these the uh, this holographic technology or something like that. Because, you know, for all of us, all I mean, anybody that's here, when you were a kid, touch screens were like cool, but they weren't necessarily something that was widespread, right? Touch screens was like Star Trek. Yeah, yeah it was practical. But I, I now it's it's, it's a mainstay. It, it's it's a staple. It's something that just is, and we're we're seeing it on like brand new HP laptops, right? They have touch screen technology on them. Why? I, I wouldn't. I don't want to sit here and work like this. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's I, I do stupid. It. Why not? Can you imagine doing this <laughs> having a touch screen TV? Can you imagine how ridiculous you'd look if you're trying to stream something and you're all looking at or your your monitor? Just, like, <laughs> you you think that's ridiculous, but this is gonna be the norm. This is, oh, Dungeon Defender's nice. Uh, this is this is gonna be the norm of of what uh, of what they're growing up with. They're gonna be doing this, and this is gonna be it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be accepted to them. They're gonna be touching the screens and everything, and it's gonna be like, oh yeah, it's, this guy's playing like Minority Report style, you know. Well, hopefully in the retirement homes they just have like World of Warcraft and they're not touch screen new games that I, I won't understand. The retirement homes right now they have backgammon and bridge, so I don't see why they wouldn't. Oh no, they need uh, to keep it the uh, stuff down. <laughs> well, what was that? What was that, Chris? They have uh, Wii's and Xboxes in the uh, retirement homes. See, so <laughs> sweet. Well, what I'm, what I'm saying is, like, you know, they, they play they play checkers there, and that's because that's what they grew up with. And so we're gonna grow up with actual like really cool video games in the retirement homes. Oh, yeah. I, hope for. I can't that's wait. I'm to be like a 90 year old man playing Crisis Three. Exactly. We're gonna be. Uh, what's what's gonna, gonna end up happening? Oh for God, you suck it, bitch. You're you're gonna hit the, your the button for your wet nurse and go. I need batteries for my Game Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, bring me batteries. <laughs> Check it me, man. We don't use batteries anymore. No, it's it's that's true. That. And think, that's what honestly, right now with the with the whole bundle boom that we're seeing this past couple, have what past year, year and a half or so, 
all we're really doing, none of us have time to finish all these games. All we're really doing is just saving up for retirement. I have 200 something <laughs> games in my Steam account, another 100 something over here in, in Desura. Yeah. I'm not playing all those games. Half Fuck Social Security, man. Eating for oh, breakfast, I haven't beaten like 90% of those games I've not beaten. So guess what I'm going to be doing when I get old and I'm just in retirement? I'm going to be playing these old ass games. You're going to be playing Don't Starve in Real Life and in the games. <laughs> pretty, yeah, pretty much. Don't, don't starve and don't get bed sores. Right? Don't get <laughs> bed sores. <laughs> No blood. I actually had to. Oh, I actually God. had to like pull myself away from WoW a little bit because like I had a. I have like a hundred games in my Steam list as well, and like none of them have any playtime on them. So I'm like, dude, I paid for all these I games. I gotta that. fucking play these things, dude. At least for a little bit. <laughs> it's like yeah, Total Biscuit's new show where he's got like, why do I have this? And he just goes through his Steam list and plays a game he's never played before. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> I pissed off Total Biscuit. He blocked me. Now I can't even watch videos. <laughs> Oops. Because I hate it when when they have like their their girlfriend or their wife on, and it, like it's like they're super annoying and they're not funny. It's like I'm not coming to see your wife or hear her. I'm here to see Total Biscuit or whatever. And I put that in the comments, right? Like if yeah. I wanted to see your wife, I hope they'll subscribe to your channel. Some smart ass comment like that. And then like he replied, but I didn't see it because he already blocked me. So <laughs> that, that well, seems that he, seems he, a little. Yeah, yeah. I, you, I tend to do that with people I like to watch. I tend to piss them off on accent, but that's just you me. have to be. <laughs> you have to be flexible, though. You have to be flexible. Like, just because it isn't my cat doesn't mean it's not you know something that's important to me. Yeah. <laughs> you know? so, so like, if 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 you know if if my wife if she ever comes on camera you know or uh, I mean I I'll, I squeeze Declan every once in a while right because he has no say he doesn't give a shit right he doesn't know what's going on. Um, yeah, you you, Ooh, have, you have to be lights. flexible. I, I, I think I think you as a viewer you understand that right? Like you you watch you're watching like stuff that I do, uh, probably because you think that I maybe you like my opinion or you by uh, because you, you think I'm funny or something. Um, yeah, you're funny. But yeah. but there's a there's a package though. There's definitely a package. You know, like I won't. I made a separate channel to do like vlog type stuff. It's really yeah, hard exactly. to keep up with that, right? But um. I made that because I didn't want to crowd my already crowded main channel. Uh, like the Sunday videos, I can squeeze a cat video in every once in a while because cats get a free fucking pass somehow, right? Uh, Did you get your cat in that episode two of that uh, what indie RPG about cats? No, he never went. He never replied. I, he never made another one. I was so mad. I was like, no, that, I couldn't believe that was like that you was like love the that game. Was just year, like, this right? is cats. I love cats. This game Fucking should be terrible. Hell. No, it's so are, good. <laughs> are you at all worried about your child ever looking you up on YouTube at any age? I don't think oh, he has any porn weird. on YouTube, so he's safe. <laughs> no, just like, you know, I mean, cursing or whatnot. I mean, I don't know what, what age you want him to be exposed Mike's going to that, curse in front of his kid. There's I, no um, way he's not going to. He's going to slip. I mean, I think he's waiting for the Christmas father. party. <laughs> uh, that, that's, a, that's a really valid question. That's a, super, that's a really valid question because, you know, I, I don't want my kid... Cursing, right? I don't want to walk around, you know, fuck, fuck, bitch, fuck, bitches, ass, and fuck, bitch, right? <laughs> you know, like when he watches a wheel of donkey like this, he's like, oh, this is what daddy did. <laughs> yeah. <right? laughs> so, well, that, Mike, let me, give you, let, me, let me give you a, a little theory on that that I have on that. Sure. Don't make a big deal about swearing in the house because if, if swearing's not a big deal, then your kid's not going to swear because he's just like, uh, who cares? It's what, fuck, yeah, he that means get, like, nothing to me. From it, when you, you, know, when I mean, you When it becomes a taboo, that's when you like develop the foul mouth when you're with kids at middle school and shit. Like, yeah, fucking, yeah, I can cuss whenever the fuck I want because ain't no teachers around and shit. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, but if, I, I, but if you downplay it, it's, it, it kind of takes away that taboo, and then there becomes no reason to be like you have to curse because, well, if I wanted to curse, like nobody would care. No, that's 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 true. That that's absolutely true. You still uh, want to, don't want them to do it around like grandparents and stuff. Yeah, and I mean. you know, you, you that, I mean, there's a certain age that it's just like that's just not okay. Yeah, I, I think I think the core of it is teaching your kid that they need to respect people. Uh, and I'm also not, not suggesting he cuss in preschool. Yeah, yeah, it's, not <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. it's not just like he's he, black, he so, I don't know. I don't have kids. So why not? Advice. Like obviously, we're, I'm not gonna cuss up a curse up a storm in front of him, right? But uh, I will, I will definitely. I mean, I'll curse, right? I, I naturally curse a lot, anyways. Like my wife and I both, like we're like fuck, shit, fuck, like all the time, right? <laughs> um, but 
I, I, I mean, honestly, I'll probably curb it a little bit, but I, I, I don't want to make a big deal out of it because it's just what you, exactly for what you said. But at the same time, I, I can't have him repeating it in school because there's, even though I don't feel like it's that big of a deal to curse, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't want him to do anything that would interrupt his studies because if he goes to you know kindergarten, first grade, and he curses because he feels like, well, it's not that big of a deal in my house. Why, should, why can't I curse? I don't understand. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, but in school, like he gets some like asshole teacher who's just like, oh, we can't have cursing in my school. Nope, uh, kick him out or some shit, you know. Uh, then that 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 now because of the way that because we're so relaxed with it, now he's paying for it. Yeah, so exactly. there's there's a balance here that we have to find. Parenting and, is very fucking confusing. No, so. it is, and I I, th- I think the core <laughs> of it is the core of it really has to be. Uh, teaching him that he needs to respect not only other people but respect situations, and a lot of times it's better just to err on not cursing because there's no reason, you know, because you don't have to do it, right? Just don't curse around these people, and you'll make your life easier, right? I, 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 we'll have to see how it goes, how it comes down, but I really think it's like based around respect. So, like, when when you're, you know, when the you're invited to come into, you know, what does my dad do for work day or whatever that's supposed to be called. Uh, are you gonna come in and oh, you know, tell all trip. these all these little preschoolers what what your YouTube channel is, I and they're all gonna flip out their uh, they're all gonna flip out their this iPhones. My daddy, he does a donkey show on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Jesus>. yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, or like around the dinner table at like Christmas or whatever. My dad puts tests on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, as much as I hope you're still doing YouTube <laughs> stuff by the time that this is this is a thing, uh, my just lie. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the majority of my oh, content okay, is. I think the majority of my content is 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 okay. Uh, I think that you know I could get away with with posting a lot of that, um, or with, oh, with putting it out. I mean, it, it would be, it, I, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I wouldn't go into a classroom and be like, yeah. I make video games on the internet, bitches. Subscribe to my channel slash AK Mike B. Bam, right? Like oh I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell them where to find it. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. But still, like, it's such a social media like world. I mean, all those kids are gonna have iPhones and iPads, and they're just like flip out immediately and be like, "What's your What's your name again? What's your Mike B?" Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. Like, they could they could probably find it. Uh, so I, I have a I have a relative that's a teacher, right? And uh, what what they do is they have two two pages, two Facebook pages. One of them is their teacher page, and the other one is like the regular page. Um, and that's one way to put up like a divider, you know, is to is to be like, oh yeah, there's there's, there's these two pages or whatever. Um, but honestly, I I mean, I don't I don't know if if I were to go, typically the the show and tell what your parents do day. Is uh, I would love to do that because I, w- I would love just to tell all the other parents, yeah, I get to play video games for a living. <laughs> oh, what no, is that? You're a fucking saying. scientist? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you could always just say your job involves involves motorcycles. That, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I, 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 I don't think that those kids would honestly find my content that interesting at that age. Yeah, exactly. That's true. There's a possibility. By the time that, that, that comes around, that. YouTube could be the standard of what TV is. That would be awesome. I sure. hope not. I want them to make. <laughs> I just want them to make a YouTube box that I can go purchase, and then that's all I need. I'm good. It's already not a like that, though. Every every place you could get a Netflix app, you get a YouTube app. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's uh, and I don't even watch TV at this point anymore. I should, I have Netflix that I keep windowed when I'm playing another game, and I go back and forth and stuff. So like all my TV and stuff, people go, "Oh man, did you see that commercial?" I'm like. <laughs> I don't watch commercials, bitches. <laughs> exactly. Twenty yeah. first century, shit me. I've noticed the only thing I really use TV for is news, which I don't like because I, that's the one thing I, I don't look up on news. on, on uh, internet. It. Well, but still, people are just like, "Oh, you hear about you know this and this." I'm like, "What?" I mean, I oh, haven't yeah. heard about that at all. I mean, I don't look at the news because I'm surrounded by. Yeah. I, no. Yeah. I don't even. Yeah, I watch it for the news only because it's easier. It's easier to catch up on local news on TV exactly. than it is to look it up. Yeah. Exactly. Because a lot of local news stations, they don't really. They're not really good at like keeping a pretty good like organized website and keeping it up to date. It's easy just to watch the damn news. Yeah. Um, I remember hearing about Michael Jackson's death from my grandma. Fucking lives like eighty miles away. Calls me up. Did she hear Michael Jackson died? So. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> what, what do you think I'm not watching TV this? to not listen to this stupid shit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, my, my TV watching is I, I tend to use it to watch like older shows or something to catch up on. I'm like, I watched the entirety of Life on Mars and it, I thought I was, I, I, everyone was like, Life on Mars, it's on Netflix or whatever. I was looking for BBC shows and I watched it. And I'm like three, four episodes in and I'm like, wait a minute. None of these guys have a European accent. Hold on a second. No, none of these guys are from the UK or anything. No, fuck. I'm watching the wrong version. There's another version out there. But uh, I watched uh, Sherlock. I watched all those. Um, but in terms of like, I heard like, Sherlock was good. Sherlock's really good. Like I you should. I, I I highly recommend it. Every episode is like a mini a mini movie. It's like an oh, hour wow. and a half or something long. Um, I've been I've been watching that's like, not online, the mini movie. Like Breaking did Bad see, and The Walking Dead and stuff. Did you succumb to the Breaking Bad peer pressure, Mike? No, I didn't. I, I watched. I watched the What's pilot. What's wrong with your face? Was, Why? I thought it was really good. I watched the pilot. I thought it was really, really good, and I really want to watch it. But I'm catching up on Fringe right now, so I can't really like. Oh, that's another one I want to watch. Yeah. yeah, I can't. I can't really go and and, and you know watch this. I the thing is like I, I have like certain. So I used to watch House, and that was like my my doctor show, right? Like my 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 that was like my brain show, right? Like oh, here's kind of a cool like mystery <laughs> my brain type show. Shows Top Gear. So, <laughs> sure, My great show is South Park, unfortunately. Um, and then I'd watch like a reality UK, show or US. something. Like I'd watch like a I, I watched American Idol because uh, they actually had some pretty talented people on for a while, and then it just got really retarded. Um, <laughs> I just like watching the tryouts with all those embarrassing. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. the try The tryouts were the best. Totally. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we don't even need to go on the TV for the best talent. We have like Psy right there on the internet. We don't need American. Yeah, I, I I actually watched it because. <laughs> we're back to uh, black. Right, hey, right, hey. hey. <laughs> I, once I figure out. No, I'm not going to say it because someone's going to steal my idea, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, once I figure out how to like edit videos and stuff, I just want to get like a 10-hour loop of her when she says friends. Like that like, constant E, like E. It's like loop it for 10 hours. That's what I want to do. <laughs> Somebody could do it now. They should. It would be awesome. Look that up. I'm sure nobody, that's nobody should do that. One thing on YouTube, get right on that. In like a radiation suit. <laughs> One thing on no. YouTube, I'm kind of glad it's gone. It's like Rick Rolls, or I'm just not as gullible and I'm not looking up games that are never. Oh, ever I think people out. aren't people aren't falling for it anymore. Yeah, that I, that, was, that was the thing that that's that we moved on from that. I just want Battle for Miller Three, and they can't give it to me. I just have to find Rick Rolls all the time. Yeah, the the only uh the only web shows that I watch uh are like the Epic Meal Times new. Like TV, like a Top Chef type thing. They have a new one. Yeah, it's, it's a new series that just started. Cause Mike S is working on it, so he I sent it. So I was like, those types of shows get you fat, but I don't know. Huh? Watching those types of like food porn shows. <laughs> it's uh, it's definitely increased my baking consumption. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used like... to, I used to get really, really like mad and stuff. Cause like um, I'm I'm, I'm broke going to school and stuff. It's expensive. And so I'll sit down and sometimes I'll watch, you know, whatever's on TV and stuff, but I'll like always find like man versus food and just love the oh shit out God. of that show. Just like, how come that guy gets a 10 pound steak? <laughs> I want a 10 pound steak. I'd eat the shit out of that right now. <laughs> you didn't even what do you mean it? you can't finish you it, you pussy? <laughs> that's, what I get, like, that's what I get like with like, um, like Iron Shift or whatever and, or, or like Hell's Kitchen and they fuck up a meal or something. I was like, shit, I'll eat it. It's like an $80 meal right, right there. God damn. I know, right? Oh, it's, just, <laughs> it's, just, it's just a tinge undercooked. It's like, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, the, should, that's what I got a microwave for. Give me but... leftovers, tinfoil, let's go. There should yeah. be an audience I, 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 on the I, I, side. I, 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 I used to watch, watch Top Chef. And, and, then, that burnt shit. <laughs> and then it got it got, it got repetitive. I watched Top Chef because I like Tom Colicchio's... Uh, I, I like how he was just such a dick. Like He, he was so heartless. Like people, he, he would say, so why'd you, why'd you choose to do that? And they'd be like, well, because I thought maybe they said, no, you, you thought wrong. You <laughs> yeah, and, and now he's been replaced by... So, you know, I got tired of Top Chef, so now it's like, oh... Quinn Ramsey, okay? He, he won't just tell you you're wrong, tell you you're a fucking idiot on top yeah. of it. <laughs> yeah, every reality TV show needs that that jerk. I like that yeah. show Chopped. Did, have you ever seen that? Where like they they, they, it, they get like the basket of ingredients and stuff, and mm -hmm. they have to use that in the meal, and they prepare. It's broken up into courses, so like appetizer, main yeah. course, whatever. Yeah, move on to the next like one or whatever. Yeah, and like it's whoever like makes the crappiest fucking appetizer gets cut. And <laughs> the crappiest dinner gets cut. Like the winner of dessert wins everything. Like yeah, my my wife watches that. It's 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 definitely a very fast paced show. It's not like you know like Top Chef, you get 
do right, uh, the same people every week, right? It's elimination style. People uh, damn near lose a finger every show too. It's always somebody cutting you know, themselves. Oh, damn, he cut himself. Look at that. You know what I mean? No, totally. Yeah, it, it is definitely one of those shows. But now, um, yeah, I'm watching Elementary right now. That's like my big show. I think Elementary is great. Nobody watches it. Fuck no, you guys. Uh, so, uh, I do. Show's over. <laughs> the, the, oh, crap. I it. think I heard one person say they watch it. I mean, like web shows. I like to watch kids react. Just because they're. What is that? You have never seen that? Or no, like I always think it's some trendy show. bullshit. That's why I don't watch oh, it. I saw like three <laughs> of them. It's pretty trendy, and, but no. it's it's pretty cool. They, it's they a web show. Like, yeah, it's a web show. It's by the Fine Bro- Brothers. They're really popular. Um, but they uh, basically like show kids or teens or elderly people. Uh, a video or some sort of viral thing, and then they just kind of like build in their reactions. And so, oh um, my god! So it's the same shit that everybody does with a viral video. They just turned it into a series. Well, yeah, basically. Yeah. But uh, what what Tosh point? I mean, Ta- Daniel Tosh already did that. No, no, no. This is different. This, this is different. Is, yeah, this... it, oh, really? It, it's there, a series it's actually... of I showed my grandma the scary video. Well, but like, have, like I don't know. I always thought of like, what would old people think of dubstep? And then they show them dubstep, and they're like, what is this oh, trash? That's music? the appeal of it. My I mean, mother-in-law it's, it's cool. is staying with me right now. Like I, I want to. She's 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 a seven-year-old Korean woman, right? Like she's. <laughs> I would love to you show start her. You some dubstep when you take her to the grocery store or something. I, 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 I want I want to show her like some, some of the videos and everything. Like I think she's seen some of them, and she she kind of she'll ask me like what it is that you, what what it is that you do. Like she she kind of has a, a concept. She she knows why I, I make videos and I make money. That's like all she knows, right? Um, but well, she knows it's all money. video game related, so she knows when I'm playing a game. I'm working, but. Um, <laughs> I want. I almost want to show her like some of this other stuff. I don't want to show her anything that's gonna that's gonna make her think that I'm a sick bastard, right? Like I'm not gonna do girls one cup. Sure. Other in law, no. it's not gonna work you out. Right? Dara main channel goes out the window. What's that? What's that? <laughs> you don't want to show her anything that uh, makes you look like a psychopath. Well, your whole main channel goes out the window. Yeah. Yeah. True. Don't show her Will and oh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Why can't I get this fucking donkey up the hill? It's just going. <laughs> Damn. See, that's, that's what I just tell no, her. Like, if you do, if you do, I, I, I want to see your face, though. That'll be fun. Yeah, I'll don't say that. The, the internet, the internet likes curse words, so I just curse. That's all I. That's it. Oh, that's, that's smart. <laughs> I still, I don't have an excuse for me. But no, it's it's actually a really cool show. I, I really enjoy uh, watching it. I, I can imagine because all all the videos. I mean, when when Kermit the Frog watched Two Girls One Cup, I thought that was like when Quest Love watched Two Girls One Cup, I thought it was really funny, right? Uh, all the all the freak out videos, right, with that stupid maze game where the face comes up and freaks yeah. people out. Like everybody oh, loves watching those videos. I think to take that and turn it into a, a recurring show is kind of brilliant. Yeah, yeah it, it's and they also just started a series called YouTubers React, where it's uh, they have like Smosh from Mysterious Guitar Man and the guy who sang Chocolate Rain. They all have them on there and reacting. Tay Zunday, the guy yeah, who's Tay. in Chocolate Ray. Come on, man. Come well, he on, did. Man. Okay, but but uh, I don't think I don't think he should be on there because he did one thing. I'm sorry, he got he, he go. He know he, he did one know, thing. He did Dr. Dr. Pepper commercial. Oh, yeah. okay. he's still doing things. Dr. Pepper, right? You know, he's he's, he's done a couple. Bit. He's got a couple of good songs, like uh, catchy songs. He's, I don't know. Wasn't he? Wasn't he on Jay Leno know. or something like that? Yeah, but he just got on there because of Chocolate Rain. You know? yeah. He was on. He was on Tosh point that, for a Web I, Redemption. I, just, I, I, I don't find it. I, I just. I despise people who have like that one video that made them famous and then they try to make a series out of it or something. And it just always bothers me. I work for my subscribers. <laughs> so, always stop on a positive note. So, so uh, anybody else watch Jenna Marbles? Say what? Ooh. My friend showed me one Fucking episode of it. Damn it! No elementary, no Jenna Marbles. <laughs> that, I thought at least get you guys with that one. Is Holy that like shit. a cartoon? Yeah, All right, sorry. so everybody has seen a Jenna Marbles video. Nope. She's the one that did I've the. I've seen a couple. I've seen she's, a whole lot. She's, she's, she's the one that uh, did the how to how to make people think that you're how to make people think you're not ugly or something like that, right? I think I've not seen the video. And it's basically she's just like you know step one bleach the fuck out of your hair, right? Like oh wait 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 is that is that no 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 that's somebody else. So anyway, you she need to link she this, got, Mike. She got popular with that, and now she's like one of the most subscribed YouTubers. Uh, and so, some of her shit's actually really funny. Like I, Are you I love her attitude with the, with the big ass chin. <laughs> I, I, don't, um, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Meds, right? I don't know uh, if she necessarily uh, has a big ass know, chin. My sister so. watches that. Uh, yeah, I've seen her before, just once or twice. Because I, I don't know. I don't find like I want to know what I'm gonna get in my subscription box with people like this, where it's just gonna be variety. I, I'm too afraid to subscribe to them. 
<laughs> oh, right, like, make you're not gonna get like a show. I don't know. It's just like purple dildo in your inbox. You never know. know. Someone said in the YouTube chat, Gina Marbles. I have no idea what the fuck that is. The only one I've seen is where she pretends to be Sarah Palin. Yeah, that was good too. That was pretty. I mean, I, I, I think, I think you know, to each his own, right? Like, I, I, I watched Ray William Johnson, and I thought some of his stuff was funny, but after like three different episodes, I was like, okay, well, I'm kind of done. Um, yeah. Plus, it was a lot of, you know, when you when you hang out on like Reddit and 4chan, you you tend to see all these videos ahead of time. Um, so it's kind of like, okay, well, now I it's not that fun anymore. Yeah, there, 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 there's where you should go for your news. It's 4chan right there. Yeah. yeah. Obviously. <laughs> you learn That's everything. where you get your stuff first. Yeah, well, yeah. actually, I mean, you'll even get it before it happens. People, like, have a picture of a post. Like, I'm going to go shoot up a movie theater unless it goes <laughs> oh, blah, blah, blah. So, like, oh, my God. Oh, yeah. It was before it happened, too. So it's oh, like, well, Jesus. there you go. News before it happens. Okay. <laughs> the future well, news. One of my yeah, buddies yeah, took that's... the, uh, one of my buddies bought the uh, D- DVD of 2012. He says, I'm just going to save this so that when my kids are older, I can play it for them and be like, I lived through that. That actually <laughs> happened. <laughs> That's funny. I would totally do that. But... I don't think that's going to work. Yeah, but. Probably not. <laughs> Daddy, I didn't know you were Joan Cusack. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was me. I was, I was young. Yeah, really. <laughs> I was a loser limo driver until it, yeah. yeah we did leave the cameraman behind when he was filming the spaceship taking off <laughs> it, <laughs> was, it, was it, to be honest was anybody at least slightly disappointed that they didn't wake up to a zombie apocalypse on Friday no I was I genuinely was but that's because I, I'm negative <laughs> it would be survival of the fittest and I'm sorry but I wouldn't be there for I would I'd probably be the first person down. I give up so quickly. Oh. <laughs> you can like we're, we're, nerds are the only ones who would know. We well, the only ones who know what to do. Land. I, I know, know, right? We're, but we're all the ones who like we were not fitting. I can't run away from a zombie for like that long. I just, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna die. You're just gonna run away from somebody else who well, gets caught. Yeah, <laughs> right. No, that's the thing. It's Always like, bring you... on a hot girl that you just keep in the behind. That way, when the zombies come up, she'll be the first one to die. No, <laughs> no. Script while she's running, right? No, right. don't exactly. know. Exactly, chips hits her head. Says that or fat friends so that the zombies take longer. <laughs> <laughs> Look, e- 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 everybody <laughs> has that friend that they would like. It, 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 when the shit went down, they would just shove out the window. Just, sorry, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, I, I'd w- I'd want to find out about a zombie apocalypse, Shaun of the Dead style, right? Yeah, like, yeah. It, it, it's just very, really gradual. Go on you. Yeah. And then, and then one morning I just wake up and I go do my thing and I don't even hardly notice. Yeah, well, there's a movie coming out where like a zombie like has conscience and is like thinking what he's doing all what he's doing and it's like a it looks really hilarious. It's like oh, the, that comedy. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, no, it, I have, I have a people link me stuff on Twitter and on Facebook and YouTube, and they're like, "Have you seen this with the words?" He's like, "Dude, I have everything in a Google Doc. Like, I have everything that I need in a Google Doc to, because obviously, I'll see you. Uh, obviously, <laughs> uh, this is gonna, this game is going in my top five most controversial uh, games of 2012." Um, I'm not quite sure exactly where it's going to place because I have a couple of there's a couple of things that I think some people kind of overlooked that I think are probably a little bit more deserving, but we'll see. Um, but anyways, I have uh, just, just I have like most like 20 links to different sources and things that I've kind of come across and I've absorbed. I don't know if you guys saw Twimo, but that was that was kind of an example of like some information that you know maybe not everyone has as, as handy, like the hundred kilometer thing. You know, like that guy. He went and he, and the way he measured to see if it was 100 square kilometers was very, very legit. Like math wise, it definitely worked out. That's how, that's how you would measure things if you don't have a method of, of measuring, right? It's like you would, you would find something that is like if I know I'm 5'11 or something, then if I lay down, then we can measure that and we can kind of get a, a we could set a grid and start building off of that. Um, and the way he did it, he basically came up with that as like 10 square kilometers. And it was like, okay. That's not even anywhere near 100 square kilometers at all. So, like, shit like that. Like, there's, and, and I think that the internet definitely went overboard in, like, pitchforking the shit out of this, but, yeah, but uh, they found a lot of stuff. Like, people were trying a little too hard, though. Like, someone said that. That's what the internet does, though. Try too hard. Yeah, yes, yes, and no. Uh, yeah, 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 more on yes, though, for sure. For sure. A lot of times when you when you get to the point to where you're you so there's trying too hard and then there's try hard, right? I think try hard is definitely when you're trying too too hard, right? Does that make sense? Weren't you uh, weren't you the one digging really deep to try to make Titan the Halo MMO? Oh dude, I was not digging that deep. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can find my, my Titan uh, uh, Bungie, but Oh he's got it. It's project company, so. first off it's Project Blackstone, alright? It's Project Blackstone. I don't care what anybody says. These are just words. Yes. I don't even know what's going on. People think it's Diablo because there's a black rock in Diablo. Oh, you're talking about concentration uh, games. Why would they, they raise the line, domain right? of Project Blackstone? I, I think, uh, isn't Blizzard making a uh, console version of Diablo? I yeah, think no. so. You start eating chips. They, start they, eating they, goddamn they, chips. They, 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 they've <laughs> talked about wanting to do that. They're, uh, your mic if you're eating chips. I know, oh my god. I saw something they recently mm -hmm. tried it with controller and they said it felt okay, but they didn't actually go any more with that. I saw something recently of them talking about it on consoles. That was like a few days ago. We'll see. Oh, they here say, we go, here we go. Uh, so, yeah, I, I have a document where I keep track of all this stuff, right? Uh, I, th I think I've mentioned it before, like on This Week in MMO or whatever, or Legendary. But, um... Which you don't do anymore and it makes me sad. <laughs> yeah, what, what what happened? Oh, the, the main reason why I don't do it with Legendary is because I don't I don't play WoW right now, and that's it's it sucks. It's one of those things where it's like I I so WoW is definitely like my fun game, right? But I have a lot of other fun games too that I play. Um, right now, like I, I could say that I like Planet Side Two more than WoW. The problem, the thing that sucks is that I have a lot of people like yeah. you know programs like the Kill. I want to go and play with them. But I like the accessibility of Planet Side 2, where I could just jump in and blow shit up and build up my character. I already have a character built up. Grant, he's not level 90, but I have so that doesn't necessarily mean that I don't have a lot of work put into like those characters, right? Now I want to go and kind of build another one over here, like a Planet Side 2, and then go back to WoW. So, but the thing is, the amount of free time that you get is, is very limited, you know. Um, which sucks. Yeah. It, Especially it, it when sucks. you're getting paid to play video games and you have to do a whole bunch of different types of content. And stuff. Huh? No, I understand. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Going back, my, my, my people stalker yeah, no, dog. Sure, um, so we know that Jeff, Jeff Kaplan, uh, Tiggle, right? He was the previous lead game designer for a while and he left in 2009 to work on an unannounced MMO. Uh, it just so happens that uh, Ensemble Studios, who previously held the rights to create the Halo MMO, closed in 2009. We also know that Ghost Prowler, uh, he, let's see, where is it at? He he worked for Ensemble Studios as well. Worked on the Age of Empires series. They now the lead designer for a while. Um, the Halo IP got separated from that because uh, I put Halo IP currently owned by Microsoft, further developed by Microsoft, owned by three three four three, four, three studios. So okay, we kind of separated that a little bit, which sucked. But there were so many signs pointing towards it. Like for example, 
Uh, Max, Mike, Max, uh, uh, Dykoff, or Dykoff, <laughs> biggest Dykoff. Um, he's a lead AI developer for Halo, and he's now employed at Blizzard, right? And this is like, uh, 2010, okay? This oh, is a tweet this? he put out. The tweet said, LOL, first day at Blizzard, and the car in front of me at the security gate has my other car as a Warthog plate. So, so, <laughs> I, we definitely had a lot, and that's, and I have links and shit all over the place, <laughs> like, to kind of, like linking things together, right? Didn't, was it you who did a video about um, the fact that Bungie might be doing an MMO with Activision and Blizzard, or is that some other crazy YouTube, YouTuber that I saw? Did I did I do that? I it was so that from like, some damn gaming conspiracies, right? Yeah, no, it's it's it, the thing is like if 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 you ignore the fact that three four three actually finally released Halo Four, right? They actually made it. It's out. <laughs> Uh, it seemed legit. Like it, it totally seemed like it could possibly happen. It could definitely be it because of all the people involved. That doesn't necessarily mean though that they didn't have like some kind of framework or something. And now they're gonna they're using that framework for like Titan, which which doesn't matter, right? Because they could use a framework for any game. It, it, it could have been anything. It doesn't necessarily make it like the Halo MMO. But we had so much, so much information. What is this conversation? Let's see. Uh, let's see, we're working. We're excited. Okay, here we go. Um, let me pull this up. Oh, I can't. Like, uh, I, it. I have okay. started something very awful. <laughs> I <laughs> apologize. No, I know. I know. <laughs> this, is, this is Studio Explains why uh, Activision's deal is good for gamers. It appears Bungie won't be developing it for any any other publisher for the next decade. Uh, da, 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 the deal is running universe. I think Bungie works best when everybody at the studio is working on one creative uh, task. Uh, once Halo Reach is done, we're looking to get uh, get everyone back under the same umbrella and focus on this new universe. It's really great. Doesn't and Bungie have like a contract with Sony right now? Who's that? I know that they I were th looking I thought for... Activision owned Bungie. No. Th yeah, that's no. what happened. Activision now owns Bungie. Yeah, no, Bungie Micro Microsoft dropped oh, yeah, Bungie and Activision picked them up. But, yeah, but that's, that's what this article Halo, is about. Though. That's what this article is about. It goes over like that whole deal and everything. Who are the other dudes? I, I think the thing with the PS3. Other was, dudes are just random people. I think with the PS3 oh, was um, the uh, the fact that Bungie listed uh, out job offerings for PS3 like engineers or whatever to help their game get on there. But I don't know if they actually had a, like any sort of deal with them other than their new game will be on both consoles, I believe. So here we go. Uh, this new deal also allows Bungie to share work and development ideas with Activision's other developers, including Blizzard. And they say, we're excited in working with Blizzard, one of the studios that we respected for a long time. We love playing their games. They have a really big, talented team with a lot of experience. We're looking forward to working more closely with these guys and everybody else on the Activision side. So when they say stuff like that, you're like, they're thinking, these motherfuckers are making the Halo MMO. So yeah, that's that's why it turned into a, like a really big like tinfoil hat like theory <laughs> thing. It's because we had so much information that made sense. It's so there, man. Exactly. I swear to you. All it right. It makes sense, damn it. I never, I never had the appeal to play WoW, but I don't know, maybe because I just barely got into PC. I really liked WoW, but I thought the new expansion was just too grindy for me. I just, I, I got bored. I, I just saw just... pandas, and I was even more pushed away from it. So. I don't have a problem with pandas. I don't know <laughs> where the awesome. pandas are. Cute. <laughs> Thing. I don't understand the, the issue behind pandas, but yeah, I thought, space, I thought it was space, space, cool. space goats was way better than pandas. Space goats. The the pandas, pandas are awesome. Four hundred daily quests a day are not awesome. Yeah, exactly. That's my issue. Is I, I was like, I yeah. I can't even accept this many quests. I've hit my I, quest. I, I, I really maximum. think that like the only the only real mistake that they that they made, I think, with with Pandaria was by unleashing that daily cap. It made people feel like, oh crap! Now there's so much I have, I have to do. That's the thing. Like, like if they put out content, people are going to, quote unquote, have to do it. So they should have just like left that lid on there and just been like, look, do your 25 and call it a fucking day. Oh yeah, that that, that makes sense. And yeah, we we talked about that a lot on Legendary. Uh, how when you can do something in a lot of guilds, you will have to do that something. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's, especially if you're in like a, a a guild that you know is big on raiding or even doing PvP. You know, there's the benefit to having like the farm or the or the whatever and stuff. And it's the people yeah. who were really turned off about it were getting casual about it anyway. Like I know I was. I was just kind of like going, uh, "I'm gonna do five dailies a day," and then dude, fuck off. <laughs> right. I need some advice from experts. If I was gonna choose my first MMORPG for my new PC, would it be WoW or Guild Wars 2? Um, wow. I, well, I, I, okay, Guild Wars 2 good, is bad. 
But, well, okay, the thing with Guild Wars is it doesn't have a monthly subscription, so you don't feel like you have to play it. So it's more of easier for you to ease in. So if you hit a brick wall, instead of you just paying monthly for something that you don't want to play, you, you can just stop it. playing it. And World of Warcraft except, also except... forces you to buy 12 expansions that you don't even get to use until you get the max level. <laughs> so. But here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. That's that's While well, the subscription is a valid argument, the cost, of WoW, the cost of WoW isn't because you can get all of the WoW expansions for less than the cost of Guild Wars to get in. And Mop, Mop is still really expensive, I thought. And then a no, no, they, they, have, they, have, they have endless deals on just like oh. bundling everything together to get you in there. Yeah, um, I th- the, the, the thing How is, low is that, well, what is Mike's opinion? Because we all answered for. <laughs> oh, he hates. He hates <laughs> I think it was Wars. directed towards him, anyways. No, no, no. Uh, opinion on what first MMO you should get? No, it was just everybody. Okay, well. Yeah. <laughs> it's a discussion. It's yeah. a hangout. Damn right. Still. No, no, no. Too much of a history to get in as a starting MMO. If you've not played it before, getting into it might be a bit too difficult. Yeah, into what, which because one? because of the amount two, of content right? you've got to get through to get to the new stuff. Guild Wars 2 would be a better one for a first MMO, I think, because yeah, it's a recent thought. release. That's what I was thinking, too. Nah, I don't know. Because if also... I want something like hardcore, you know, like like the granddaddy of MMORPGs, then I might just go to that. Yeah, see, yeah. This, this, this is like a really hard question because if somebody asked me that, I would say, tell me a little bit about your computer. Tell me a little yeah. bit about uh, how, much, how much time you want to spend doing stuff. What do you like to do when you play games? You know, like I would... I would really have to like ask them other questions. It couldn't just be, well, what what do you, what do you want to do? Like, do you want to play this or that? How much do you care about shiny? You know, like if, <laughs> yeah. if they were if they were like, oh yeah, I play like Crisis Ten and fucking okay, like all these like really really beautiful graphic you know graphically enhanced games or whatever uh, or intensive games. Uh, then if I send them to WoW, they'd think it was a joke right, right <laughs> off the bat because of, of graphically it just doesn't stand up to 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 like Guild Wars Two. Um, and art style wise is different. Like that's something that I think we can argue that all day. There's a difference between art style and uh, how many polygons right are on a screen. Uh, the graphics and aesthetics. Yeah, yeah, some people judge a game based off of how much it cooks their computer, and the more it does, the better it is to them. So yeah, you'd have to ask them a lot more questions than that. I, I do agree that Guild Wars Two makes it easy. It's easy to pick up because uh, you you cap out on abilities like fairly quickly. And the way you unlock them is very, very simple. At the same time, like if they're playing like on a sh- shit laptop or something, that's what I'm playing on. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, w- I would say, why don't you go ahead and play World of Warcraft? Because then you can have a game that looks really nice on that laptop. Uh, but uh, you know, it's 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 tough. It's really, really hard because you can't just make a determination of what someone could play just off of. I've never played MMO. Which one should I play first? There has to be other things involved because ex- your experience is always going to be determined or always going to be measured by more than just simple content. It's every it, there's there's everything else that's involved as well. Honestly, if you're going to try and get into those, you'll need like a good community of people to play it with. Because yeah. playing those alone, you'll get bored pretty fast. Very very. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the other thing too. It's like, do you know people that play MMOs? Like, what do they do you have friends that play games? Like, which ones do they play? That's the issue with me going into new MMOs is all my friends are like so stuck on World of Warcraft that they won't like join me in just trying a new one and I'm like yeah level 70 I'm bored. <laughs> I, can't get up, I can't get up there because I'm I, I log into Guild Wars like I could not get up to level 80 I got up to 76 and it was just because of the time it was taking to get to the next level it's just I need someone to do this with me and I was just like all right yeah I'm see done. that that's why I like that's why I like Brogrounds like the 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 Wild Guild that I have is yeah. because. Uh, <laughs> I, I think it's pretty well populated with people who just like they just want to play just to have fun, you know. They're they're not we're not trying to be a hardcore raiding guild or anything. It's just like you can just get on, and these people, everybody in the guild is super friendly, and you can just go and just have a good time. And then and, and and that's pretty much it. There's no expectations, you know. There's a funny uh, comment in the live chat or whatever, and it says it says World of Warcraft or Guilds War Two. Forget that RuneScape. Yeah. <laughs> Play League of Legends. There you go. I've played RuneScape for like thirty minutes. Yeah, nothing will demoralize you more as a person than League of Legends. Wait, oh, hey, yeah. Mike, why didn't you like League? I, I don't remember. You, I know I, you, you didn't I, care I, for it as much. I, I just I don't favor most isometric games, and I know that sounds weird, right? Like to base it off of a camera point of view. No, no, that perspective. Makes, that makes sense. But, yeah, it really is. Like, uh, I when Diablo when Diablo mm-hmm. came out. Okay, so. I played, not necessarily isometric, right, obviously, but, like, I played Warcraft 2, Warcraft 3, all those RTSs, right, uh, Command Conquer, 
uh, back in like the late '90s, and then I kind of weaned off of that. And you know, Diablo Diablo Two came out like uh, when I was kind of playing on a tournament, and I was kind of like, uh, it made me feel like I was playing an older game, right? At the time, it was new, and I was like, oh, okay, I don't really want to play this. Um, I just for some reason never really wanted to go back and play that. Yeah, you know, I played Diablo Three, wasn't really a fan of it. Played League of Legends, I was kind of like, okay, it was fun. Right, but it wasn't. It still didn't quite gel with me. I like have more action in my face than yeah, have to sit there and worry fine. about like what's going on everywhere else. Uh, I would say right. Torchlight is the only one that's really kind of appealed to me mm-hmm. uh, as a whole, and it's made. It's I think it's mainly because I have the ability to mod it. So if I don't like something like the camera distance, I could adjust that. You know, cool. uh, but now it's 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 weird. It's I can't just say it's just isometric point of view camera perspective, right? But like, that's definitely definitely plays a part. In it. See, that was my worry about Diablo. See, I, I got the uh, the stupid annual pass way before I even like played an isometric game, and so I, I got League of Legends to try it, like to you know try the whole camera angle, try to get myself used to it for Diablo. And I didn't really care for the game at first, but I thought you know whatever, I'll just try to get used to it. And I got up to the highest level, and I was like, this is actually a really fun game. And it's anytime I try to get a friend into it, I always have to go through the whole entire. Oh, I don't like this at first, and I'm like just keep trying it. It gets better if you just get better at it. It's also a really difficult game, I think, but uh, I don't know. I was really hoping you'd like it. You just no, it doesn't roll all the game. It's fun. I, I, li- I liked playing Dominion. I think the other, t- the other thing, too, now is, like, now I feel like, okay, great, like, I don't... I have, like, the basic characters or champions on, like, I don't really feel like going and learning how to play a billion others. Like, somebody somebody I should get to meet Dota 2, which is awesome, because I, I don't mind going in there and playing oh and checking it out God. and getting that experience, right? I've already played it before, but I want to play it now in its release date. Um... I opened that game and the menu scared me. Is Dota yeah. 2 officially out now? Do- well, I have two beta. entries in my Steam. I have Dota 2 beta and Dota 2. So hopefully the other one is the... Uh, yeah, it's the in beta, but keys are everywhere. Yeah, the thing I liked about League was it was a lot more user-friendly, um, in my opinion. It is. Team. No, it is. I agree they, with that. But they, the, the, the new update... Oh, well, community in any <laughs> game can be bad. Uh, yeah. the, the new update did kind of complicate it in just a little bit. Um, but it definitely... You know, it's, it's funny, people people talk about community, and here's what's funny. They'll say, oh yeah, the League community is terrible, and it's like, wait, hold on a second, whoa, whoa, hold on. It's only, it's only bad because it's popular and everybody knows that it's bad, exactly. and it breeds badness, right? Uh, but if you played Dota 2, or sorry, Dota, and if, you did, play, yeah. and if you played Heroes of New Earth when it was new, then you know that that community, that elitist dickhead fucking community, exists in all of these games it just happens that league of legends is now the most popular out of the bunch and people automatically associate it with this like shit community they all have them i hate the call of duty community but oh my god it's kind of popular but the only thing is it's popular with people that only play call of duty and say every other game sucks but call of duty and that's what bothers me is when people say it's god of all games and i'm like man it's all right you know it's a good game but it's all right I just fucking don't even get me started. I could rant about Call of Duty for fucking hours, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and Mike, have you ever played Smite? Everybody, you know. I did we all know what it Smite. is. Oh we yeah, all know what it is. I, I was trying to think if you did. Yeah, yeah I did. I liked Smite. I, I liked Smite because it was uh, because of the, how it was basically a first. It was a first person MOBA or third person MOBA. Uh, I thought that was great. I, I actually I, I really enjoyed that. I was probably out of all the MOBAs, I was like my favorite. I liked that a lot. Oh, um, Bloodline yeah. Champions. Actually, I like Bloodline Champions oh, as well because it was very skill shot based. Uh, I really like that. Did you ever think of trying Guardians of Middle Earth? That was the Lord of the Rings one that just came out for the Xbox. You might like that a little bit better because you're using the Uh, I've I've not tried it yet. I've I've seen it, but I've not actually gone in there and tried it yet. Uh, and I. Probably one of the reasons is because it's it's a it's MOBA, a MOBA and I know that it's probably not something I'll like go long term. Like I downloaded the uh, Heroes of oh, what is it called? It's the stupid iPhone version, right? The, the same guys that or it's something of orders order and chaos. It's like the Heroes of Order and Chaos or something like that. Uh, I got that and I went through and I played through the tutorial and I was just like, what am I doing? I don't like MOBAs. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I just did a just a tip on that. Okay. Oh, uh, he did. That's right, he did. He did do a just a tip on that. I should have beat him to it because I was playing it for him. Damn it! <laughs> Someone, uh, Zero R in the uh, in the uh, Google Plus chat said that he hopes Elder Scrolls Online will be good. Will you be doing a BFF report about that? Because I really hope so. Yeah, no. When Tisa comes out, I definitely will. Uh, we've think... been following it for a while. So yeah, I mean, you know, we have Tisa, we have Firefall, we have uh, Wildstar. 
Yeah, there's a lot of MMOs coming out. Even the new Final Fantasy, I think I want to jump in there and check it out. Um, I mean, I think I was probably one of the biggest proponents of shitting on it when it when it released the first time, so... I bought the collector's edition. They probably get hoping people to play and not just click in their videos. Well, well, uh, Anthony, what was that? So I bought the collector's edition and burned it. You, you should have made a video of it. I should have. it to Gary. Yeah, Gary, which game? I, Gary's gonna need another box now for Final Fantasy 2.0, X, XIV 2.0. It was funny when he was saying, he, what do you say? Uh, did he say it on the stream or did he say it before the stream? I can't remember which. But uh, he said that people get mad at him for calling it, the X, calling it XIV. And I was like, really? I think that's like super catchy. It's like people, uh, people don't say Final Fantasy VII; they say FF7. You know, like I, I think people like I just call it XIV. I think that was kind of it's kind of nice. The, Final, the, re -re the re release of Final Fantasy VII is garbage too, by the way. Oh yeah, no, no, of course. I think the the guy who did it for fun actually did it better, right? I well, the, the thing they did is they they, they re-released it for a digital download, so you can officially get it, which is great because people, you know, wanted to play that on PC without pirating it. I mean, you could always do that, but mm -hmm. uh, just getting it uh, an official copy of it is is great. And they put achievements in it. Well, what they did is they they linked your saves to a cloud that is the shittiest, slowest fucking cloud ever. Uh... So like if you have to get off the game or whatever, you might not your the, the the save server might not be up, so you won't be able to save your game. And if you've been playing for a serious period of time or whatever, you're just like, all right, now I got to go to work. Oh crap, can't fucking save my game. Wow, so that's there goes really the last dumb. four hours. Like, yeah, it's Made awful, jobless. and they need to fix it. <laughs> it's a, it's a fuck, it's it's a damn first, or it's a, it's a single player game. The local save, stupid. Like, oh Jesus. Yeah, they they clouded so, it so you could save your achievements and stuff. It, it's it's garbage, but. Uh, that I'm very sad for that. But um, um, you, are you going to get any like uh, press beta access or anything like for uh, uh, Elder Scrolls? Probably. Yeah. I mean, it's. Um, That's like I, asking if the clouds are good. The sky is blue. Well, no. I mean. Well, no, no. It's. It's. No. I, I. I tend to do a lot of a lot of this access stuff I, I do by myself but if there's something that's if there's ever something that i have a hard time getting into for some reason um then i have i have a couple contacts that i could use to, to help me get uh into uh, in, into like pretty much almost any beta or alpha that i that i want um and it's, it mostly has to do with like zam right or, or game breaker you know like gary's got a lot of contact uh, contacts for people at zam come to my friends there like they have good contacts they can get me anything i want you know so it's good yeah, I um, I'm hoping to ask uh, the game station for um, I don't know just beta access. I know my Halo channel, but I want it and I want to make videos about it. So, yeah. <laughs> so. Branching out, that's always good. Yeah, exactly. Well, no, the yeah. subscribers would be upset. We have to make a. I'm gonna just try to pour my own channel, uh, like a, my own personal one. But uh, hopefully, I can get a fan base from mine to jump onto that. Because a lot of people do break. like Elder Scrolls, and it's mostly I have console people, and like almost everybody on the console was like, "What's this? An RPG where you can create your character?" And they're like blown away with these features that we've seen in like MMOs forever, uh, <laughs> yeah. forever. But it, so it, it's kind of cool that I can kinda like. You mean I don't have to be Master Chief? I could be somebody right? else. <laughs> what? Exactly. Crap. Although but, they fucked up with Halo Four uh, co-op, everybody's Master Chief, and it's like yeah, that bothered me. I was Master but, Chief is super really cool. And I'm the one who cares about my the story, and my brother's playing, and he's the one who's in every cutscene. I'm like, what is this? Why am I on the side? Why is Cortana talking to him? I'm first player. I, I care about this story. What's talk to me, bitch. That's to, right. to, to yeah, be fair, whenever there was like a, a small cutscene or something that was Shizzle, like Shizzle was uh, at one of the clips. He's he's doing like the what level? I don't remember what level we're up, but he's, he's activating something. So he's sitting there like doing this. I'm behind him, just butt stroking him and trying to <laughs> blow him up and shit, you know. And, Dude, that's what I like about. Uh, but the thing is, like, we both look the same, and it would be nice if there was something to kind of differentiate us, like visually. One of the like Cortana, and you just like sit on your friend's shoulder or something. You don't get to move. Just... Here, here's the, the problem with it is that a lot of people don't know this, but according to Halo lore, the Chief family is an incredibly large family, and they all got into the military. See, like when you're playing that co-op, you're playing Roger Chief and Cliff Chief and <laughs> Billy Ray Chief. <laughs> so Chief isn't a robot. Billy Ray. I don't think so. Billy Ray Chief. <laughs> if anything, I think they probably should have done like they had in Reach, where you're uh, 
your armor customization stayed the same. As well, but, but in Reach, you're supposed to be like a new initiate, and you could you could you could make your own blank slate there. The thing yeah, you're, 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 for is in, in Reach, you're Grunty Chief. Yeah, you're well. <laughs> you're Grunty Chief. <laughs> you're, 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 chief. you're Mute Chief. At least in Halo Three, you got to be the Arbiter. And then yeah, that's true. Random elites. The All right, uh, Mike. Looking, mm. I do want to thank you for hosting this hangout. I'm gonna bone out for the night. Thanks a lot. I got work early in the morning and top of school and studies and stuff. But this was cool, man. Thank you. Yeah, no, of course. Uh, it was it was fun. Uh, I think I, I think I'm gonna end. I need to go get another Dos Equis. My my buzz is gone. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah. uh, next next time I do this, I'll have to bring a cooler up here or something. Shit. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs, check, make sure the wife's good, make sure the baby's sleeping, wake him up, change a shitty diaper or something. That's all what right, I do fine. now, change shitty diapers all day. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna take care of that stuff. And um, if if I'm still awake uh, here in a couple hours, and I might go ahead and pop open the stream and do some uh, some Planet Side Two, because it's I got the, on, the on double Twitch, XP right? and all that shit. Yeah, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be on Twitch. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's definitely gonna be on Twitch. I okay. see me through here. I don't think the quality is that great to stream. So, I always YouTube, miss the YouTube seems a little funky on streaming. Like, it's definitely better to do Twitch and then send it over to YouTube afterward. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mike, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and link my email in the uh, in the uh, chat for uh, the the hangout. And if you want like any sort of cross promotion or if you want to do anything Halo, just go ahead and yeah, hit me up me, right there. Uh, send, send me actually send me all that stuff through YouTube. Really? Yeah, yeah. Through, through, send it through there. I if you, if, if people tell the me they're sending me something, then I know to check. Okay, okay. Because it doesn't. Because I can't, I can't get the alerts to ever not spam the shit out of me to my email box. So if someone's like tweets me like, "Hey, I sent you an email to YouTube." Then I'll go and check it. Okay. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and send it through YouTube, like the links okay. to the various things in the email and all that stuff, and I'll check it out. By the way, I know you won't remember this, but on your stream from Mrs. Pandaria, there is a. Um, when you were doing the beta, there was this monk guy who was helping you out, healing you as you're going around, uh, going around like grinding. And I made a video about mop. I remember. Uh, no, I remember yeah. you. I yeah, do that remember was, that. That was me, and I, was, I made a video That's about funny. the mop. No, I, I totally remember that. Yeah, it was. I was like, oh, this fucking guy is like healing me. Sweet. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm invincible, bitches. What's up? Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, awesome guys. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and end it. Thank you very much for participating in this test. At no buttholes. Thank God. I know, right? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Woo! Nobody needs to deliver last seconds. We're good. There's there's, there's one over here in the cave. <laughs> um, it's yeah. under wraps. <laughs> it's under wraps. Keep it it's there. My, my own personal one. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. All right. See ya. Later. Thanks, Mike. About this bitch. <laughs>